until it shows me that okay. we are live. All right, we seem to be. Let me just oh, grab that sweet and tasty Exciting. link. It'll show up in a hot second, the hottest of seconds. I meant. Ah, ha, ha! I have found it. Oh, there well, we go. Well, it's showing a schedule for some reason, but I have found it. And I see it, which means in all likelihood, we are indeed live. Good, good. All right. Our machinations have succeeded at <laughs> last. Stream. No one can rein us in now. Never. <laughs> more breath hey. of the wild. Exclamation point. Yeah, I can't think of anything more clever than that, so the explanation point is going to just have to do the heavy lifting on that. Let me see if Blue uh, can add I the think fundraiser. We can it. Um, Hello, Ziggy. You've come to join immediately as soon as there was attention <laughs> to be had. Sometimes I'll sit on my lap while I'm working. I'm hoping that this is one of those times. Fundraiser Tell me. at Ziggy. Your be lap region. cat. Yes, be the lappiest cat. The lappest of cats. The cat lap. Yeah, Boy, I'm in a weird owls. state. I'm just going to start. She's been angsty all morning, so oh, no. we'll see if that holds up. She's well, in her Lancer just, arc. Well, she's on a diet, and oh. I've been gradually giving her less food so that it's not all at once, so that she doesn't, like, make my life a living hell. <laughs> but this week, we've implemented less wet food as part of that, and um, I think she's noticed. Oh, no. <laughs> she's, she's spotted it. Mornings have been rough oh, in the uh, Indigo Ziggy household. <laughs> that is tragic. She's on the lap. Okay. She's on the lap. We got cat lap. We got, we got cat lap. We got lap cat. Yes, good. Every time I hold her up to the microphone, she goes silent. Oh, yes? But she's, oh, it's stage fright, definitely. She's such a loud cat otherwise. I know. She, I think it's also that this microphone does not pick. I was a sure SM7B, and it has a pretty low pickup, so when she's just meowing in the room, you don't hear it. But when we record rolling with difficulty, uh, <laughs> the Discord is routing through my headphone micro microphone because um, I'm recording to a different device, and that does pick up every single sound she makes. So. Mm. Maybe she'll meow for us, I don't know. Yes. Oh, good, the fundraiser's up. Uh, yes, so, uh, hello everybody who's joining us on this fine, uh, Tuesday midday-ish, depending on your time zone. Um, the <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom 10 minutes of gameplay dropped, like, two hours ago, three hours yeah, ago. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way we don't end up talking about that. <laughs> oh, it was incredible. But I will hold off. I will I will hold yes. off. Perhaps we can make that the first donation goal. If we reach 1k, we start dishing about Tears of the Kingdom's new Maybe we should, features. before getting into anything, say what we're here streaming Yes, uh, yes. Uh, for. <laughs> so, uh, I uh, thought it would be kind of cool to do a little bit of fundraising for the Internet Archive. You know, the guys that do Wayback machine and stuff like that uh they're in the news uh this week because they lost like a lower court case about um whether or not their uh book loaning system is maybe a little bit illegal uh that aside they are an extremely good organization <laughs> um yeah. and uh i think that their survival is a oh damn it again hold on uh <laughs> i think that uh it's they're, they're a, a worthy cause Regardless of uh, however any court cases may be turning out. God, this guy's annoying. <laughs> Hold real still. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Um, no. The freedom of information and archiving of digital information is always an important and worthy goal. Yes. Uh, anything we can do to aid that. Especially like. Red, I don't know about you, but all the time when I'm doing media research, I'm on the way back machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looking absolutely. up old articles and interviews and. It's needed. Like it is, it's an important service for yeah. uh, any sort of media criticism. So Whoops. definitely glad that we are here to support them. Um, yeah, no, it's it's vitally important. Um, yeah. I getting access to some of the books that I need to use, like primary sources, you can usually find Project Gutenberg stuff like that. Secondary sources, yeah. especially academic papers, can be a lot harder to find. Um, I'll often just do a quickie little like just add dot, you know archive.org to the search, and I will frequently turn up something useful. Um, and, oh, there's mm -hmm. a few other things I've used it for. Uh, quite recently, for a video that's going up, I think April 7th, um, I, uh, actually had to use Wayback Machine on a few, like, classic websites, like, fucking, I can't has cheeseburger.com. It was the only way to get the old UI. Uh, and I, boy, I got blasted back to 2010 with that one. Um, 
What a time. Yeah. Yeah, Truly I also magical. was on the way back machine recently. Uh, I was researching the movie Wings, the first Best Picture winner, just for fun. Ooh. This is what I do with my free time. Uh, and I was trying to find this interview that someone had done with uh, the archivist uh, at Paramount that had restored it. And the only place I could find it was on the way back machine. So mm. it's important to have access to these materials. Of course. Yes. Everyone should get to read the fascinating story of how they restored original Best Picture winner Wings. It was considered lost media for so long. It's oh, just, man. It's lost media fascinates me. Uh, I'm so glad there are YouTube channels that are actually, like, good at unpacking that stuff because, boy, those are research rabbit mm -hmm. holes I find too frustrating to go down a lot of the time because I'm like, where's the rest of it? But fortunately, other people <laughs> who are better than me at this can, can actually get their acts together and look that stuff up. Um, yes. Oh, man. My cool armor does... Oh, wait. Hold on. We're really close to Death Mountain. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, Link. You whiner. Let's swap out our hat. So we're doing the lizard? Yeah, th we're probably going to do the lizard. Most of the other things I want to do... Uh, no, that's not the right one. Where's the ruby circlet? Uh, come on. I guess it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, see? Now we're fine. Now he's all stoic and cool. Um, so there's a few things I want to take care of. Uh, I'm still holding out hope that I'll be able to get two more small guardian cores because mm. I discovered last time that uh, the, the upgrade path for guardian armor uh, kind of bottlenecks at like 10 guardian cores for the, the uh, cuirass and uh, greaves. But then after that, it's just giant cores. And because you guys made me do so many of those uh, major tests of strength early in the game, I have a ton of giant ancient cores lying around. So I can get this fully upgraded if I just find two more mini cores. Uh, people have told me that Skywatchers drop them, but I still haven't figured out an efficient way to kill them. So, mm. so maybe we'll just hold off on that and just kill a bunch of Guardian Stalkers in Hyrule Field again later. But before that, we should probably do the last Divine Beast, because then we can move on and start doing things like the DLC Champions Ballad stuff, which I think will be a lot of fun. Um, nice. But first, I gotta, I gotta put on the world's ugliest armor set so I don't catch fire and die again. <laughs> Uh, I used to always just put the pants on from it because well, as soon as I realized you didn't need to have the full set on, I was like, mm. Yeah, the pants are really the move. Although, uh, Red, I don't know if you know this, if you have a full set of upgraded oh my uh, God. armor from the Great Fairy, you do don't get do a it. special don't do set it. Don't bonus. do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> uh, okay. How's it feel, see. huh? All those, <laughs> all those potato-related streams. This is my vengeance. Oh, speaking of chat, uh, you got to let us know if the don't. sound quality is good, so... Please uh, feel free to put your favorite uh, your favorite spud in no. the chat if you want to just let us know that the, the audio quality is all right. Are there any other spuds? Is it really, like, could people be pedantic about this? I think there are other tubers. Tubers and spuds. But are there other tubers that have made their way into the emoji world? Ah, that's a good point. I think there are yams in there. Um... Mm, yeah, there's some, I'm seeing some yam action. You know what? Fries we don't need creative. to. Actually... I wonder. I think there's been a blood mood since then. We could go and deal with that Igneo Talus. That could be fun. Every on time I'm on these streams, we're fighting Talus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so efficient now that I've gotten the knack for it. <laughs> I spent all those years being like, I just don't know how to get all these gems I need for stuff, and I'm always broke. And now it turns out there are these slow-moving, constantly respawning, lumbering hunks of money just wandering around. <laughs> Thanks, Ganon. <laughs> all right, let's see. Yeah, we're good. I never take the roads if I can help it. But that does mean I frequently get lost. Oh, Ziggy's being cute now. Oh, All morning you. she's been driving me crazy. And now she's asleep on my lap. She has the audacity to be adorable after all she's done. Genuinely, that's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Because we have a little bit of a routine now, because I work from home, uh, I'm working freelance, and uh, during the day I'm, we're usually at odds because she wants me to feed her immediately, because I haven't gone anywhere, so clearly I can, and I'm like, if I feed you now, you're going to scream at me at like 5pm. Um, and then at like 5pm, after a whole work day of this sort of dynamic, I'll sit down and watch a little TV or something, and she will come curl up and hang. Aww. I'm like, you can't be chilled now <laughs> big lancer energy on that one like it's yeah. not like i like you or anything actually just kidding i super do oh you know what there might be more guardians on this good good it's all coming together <laughs> i like how they sort of give you a little hint of like guardians are coming by leaving these little dead ones around just like oh how'd this get here i don't know <laughs> 
I keep it's, so there's been a, a bit of a debate in the comment section over whether or not cutting off the guardian stalker's legs uh, reduces their drop chance of what the okay of uh, giving me cores. Um, hmm. It seems like it doesn't affect the drop rate of cores. It just affects the drop rate of bits. Like I guess there's a, a certain number of bits that a guardian will drop, but if you cut off the legs it definitely drops, like, springs and coils and stuff like that, which means mm. not cores. Uh, I still don't know if this is true. I think maybe this is the kind of thing that people don't actually know, because, you know... It's like if you uh, press A a bunch or something, it'll make the Pokémon evolve faster. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. One of them charming gamer superstitions that we're so fond of. All right, it let's... makes the game fun. They it's do, the yeah. Oh man, back in the day, like before you could really easily like just record yourself playing oh, a game. Yeah. Alright. The T V T. The, yes, the... We, I promise we have seen the Tears of the Kingdom Trapper. We have We're gonna have to talk about that. Oh yeah. Dramatic. Well, you know what they say. If we hit one one K raised. <laughs> oh boy. What has happened? Nothing. We're good. <laughs> I'm seconds behind you watching the replay, so I don't know what's gone wrong, but Hold I on. assume something. Hold on. Oh, get stuffed. Get dunked on, my friend. Just get under there. Get on under there. Alright, fine. Let's give this another shot. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. Run. Ow! Hey, that's cheating. Dang it, Link. Oh god, get out of the lava! <laughs> oh, we're fine. We're not in the lava. We're just near the lava. Alright. Please right, hold. You know. yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. We're good. Boy, time to eat some food. You know what would really be helping? If I had my good guardian armor on. But sadly, I can't do that and also not be on fire. Mm. No, don't fall in the lava! I need your bits! Come back out! Yes, chase me! Chase me! Tee hee, chase me. Good, good! No! No! My bits! Come on, man. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. This is the worst day. Alright. Uh. A That's single rough. spring. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> uh, fine. I guess we'll just kill the other one. Hold on. Oh no, how awful. You gotta go play more of the game. I'm so Ooh. sad, you don't even know. This is heartbreaking. <laughs> Ow, Jesus! Guys! Guys! Oh, Later. They don't present enough of a challenge for how frequently I have to deal with them. Yeah, it's just a real pain. I'm just like, these guys, I might as well just run from you. You give me nothing of value. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People are always like, oh, just use bombs. It's like, if I use bombs at close range, I will die. But thank you. Hello, sir. Hey, you're fiery, right? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I kind of wish nobody had told me that if you use a fire item on a, an ice monster and vice versa, they just instantly explode. That feels like forbidden knowledge that makes the game too easy. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where it's nice that I know it. And then I always think about it seconds after I've wasted so much time and energy. Yeah. Fighting fire guy with a non-ice thing. On the plus side, it's made dealing with whiz robes really easy, because those guys were so yes. annoying. Oh, I hate those guys so much. Because they always just float just out of reach of my stabby weapons, and it's just so unfair. Yeah. It's like, I'll try and like use an arrow or something, but then you're still hacking forever, and now it's poop away. It's just not, yeah, it's just annoying. And especially, like, if you wait for too long and they just start doing that, like, buck wild, oh no, uh, now you're in a thunderstorm because it's a lightning whiz robe and it got slightly miffed, or... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> out of here. Thank you. Bye. Alright, anyway. That's what I get for following the road, or at least staying slightly near the road. Every time I have to go up Death Mountain for the first time, I just climb my way up yeah. and ignore the existence of the road. 
I mean, it's more fun that way. But also, you catch fire a lot more yeah. often. Now that I know that you can get bits of the, fl the Flame Breaker armor without having to buy it, it's like, well, now I gotta. Like, mm -hmm. who can resist a, a thrifty tip like that? <laughs> okay. okay. All right, the person in chat is insisting that how you kill a guardian does not change the drop rate. It's a myth. I'm, I'm happy to accept that. However, I will say that there is, in fact, one way you can kill a guardian that does not give you anything useful, which is kill it near a pool of lava so that it anakins its way like down and explodes. The drop rate is not at fault on that one. <laughs> hey, well, I wasn't at fault either. The guardian chose death. <laughs> <laughs> they feel like they should be lava proof. It, yeah, like yeah, know. really. It's like, oh, you know, tools of the ancient world are the best way to kill these, but their individual bits are remarkably flammable. Am I still going in the right direction? Oh yeah, we're fine. Who we're knows? Cool. We're totes. We're, we're good. Uh, if only I'd come here after I'd gotten my ass beat instead of eating a nice meal. I would just been able to heal it all in the hot springs. Mm, if only. If only. Ooh, Igneo Talus. Good, good. Wait, do I have ice arrows? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I mean, I also have an ice, like, frost blade or something, so it shouldn't be that hard. I think. Hey, little buddy. Get down mm. here. Red, I have a conundrum. What's up? I have a croissant to eat mm -hmm. during this stream. Delicious. It's extremely crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see the issue. Yes. And I've given science so much shit in the past for eating crunchy foods on stream. But and I don't know resist? if I'm feeling rebellious enough. But also it is it is my croissant. It is. <laughs> I, I, I give it. permission. I think that this is a great, great opportunity for great. some of that good, good OSP ASMR action. Awesome. Oh. Oh, that's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh no! Like, thank you. Alright, spin to win, baby. Did I miss a meme? What's Quasso? Uh, What's presumably a funny way to pronounce Quasson. Ah, oh, thanks for the saver, Bosa. Well, that stung a little, but we got it. Oh wow, that's the good crunch. Mm -hmm. Extra crunchy. Any other little guys over here? No? Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I think croissant <laughs> is just the way you can spell how to overpronounce croissant. Yeah. And, um... Who needs time? <laughs> Who needs time? <laughs> okay. Compared to people making fun of me for the accent I just have normally, I'll take <laughs> making fun of a French word instead. Yeah, the French are always down to down to clown in that direction, right? <laughs> They're extremely oh, chill yeah. about being made fun of. <laughs> oh boy, it's the lizard zone! Give me that Liz! Oh, I love the lizard zone. That other lizard! Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so many lizards, so many rocks. So many lizards. So little time. Oh yeah, because we already finished Terrytown. We've uh, depopulated this mine just a smidge, but that's okay. Nobody's mad. Oh, hello. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I'll just take this and thank you. Okay, cool. We're good. Mm -hmm. anyway. Ah, good. All right, and now I think we have to go and rescue our little Goron friend. Well, I think we need to start the quest for that. Actually, let's check. Let's check what we gotta do. Yeah, great. Awesome. That doesn't tell me anything, but that's okay. I think we're good. I think, I I think usually you just have to like, go to Goron City, and then from there you start the quest to... Yeah, basically. ...break the dude out. Come on, Link. Sprint a little more. You're only wearing three different kinds of heavy armor with a 40-pound hammer on your back. <laughs> it's a workout. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of those really intense ones. You're doing CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. It's like, next you should do it at high altitude. The lower <laughs> oxygen is like, more exercise-y or something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of like tech- lot of... not have exploded on me. <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of like, fitness stuff is just like, yeah, that might be how things work. 
<laughs> Which I think is the most dangerous impulse known to humanity. It's just like, mm-hmm. yeah, that could make sense. Like, that's how conspiracy theories get you, too. It's like, maybe. It's like, well, the reality of things is this. It's like, yeah, but this could make sense. Like, yeah. Yeah, the reality of exercise is that if you get yourself moving and you're doing something that you uh, enjoy, but also feels like you're doing an appropriate level of physical exertion, you're probably fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the guy who, let's see if he does it again. Ah, uh, no. Shame. Divine beast. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, bud. Bet the boss knows a thing or two about it. I think the first time I walked up here, he was like, Oh, hello, highly enchanted Link. And I was like, what the fuck? And then he was like, oh, man. The only thing that livens up my day is pretending I'm greeting the long-lost hero. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, there he is. <laughs> you, old Goron, speak. <clears throat> that blasted Rudania. Oh, what's wrong? Is something wrong? Uh, Rudania went wild recently. Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Living near an active volcano was such a picnic earlier. <clears throat> you see Rudania stomping around there up there on the mountain. They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now. now just... I'm always torn because this is my least favorite divine beast, and I do, but I do, I love lizards. So... I love the lizard. I I think that this yeah, divine I'm beast torn. has a, it's got a couple gimmicks I really like. Um, mm-hmm. And I like how easy uh, Fire Black Ganon is, <laughs> but we'll get there. Yeah. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that feed. Right. But it always comes back. Oh, he's good. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> uh, just some back pain. Lugging around this turtly rock thingy on my back is no picnic, I'll tell you that. Wait, who are you? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm a traveler. I see. So then you came all this way to pay your respects to me? I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Bluto narrative dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> Great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child, or to make a silence cry a child cry. Either way, yes, it is none other than I, Bluto. I think this guy, like Robbie, needs his own musical sting. I was he planning does. to drive off Rodania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. Mm. Blasted Yonobo. When will he return? Who is Yonobo? Yonobo is the young Goron who helped me drive off Rodania. He went to grab some painkillers from my back from the abandoned North Mine. He hasn't come <laughs> back yet. <laughs> mm, slacker. Whoops. I bet he's off somewhere. Wasting time. Unlike me. Hey, if you happen to see you, Noble, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You doing good there, Brad? <laughs> he's fine. He's chill. All right. Let's go rescue Yonobo. <laughs> That, is that something to pick up? Lizard? Mm. Lizard! Haha! <laughs> worth it. Nice. Oh, the journey was worth it. Hello, sir. <laughs> Whoa, it's a Hylian. That's unexpected. What are you doing here, little guy? There's only an abandoned mine past this point. That and lots of I'm monsters. I'm watching the stream on YouTube while listening to you on Discord, and you're so far ahead of where the stream is that it's kind of like listening to an audio version, audiobook version of... <laughs> oh, no! I hope life. the latency is okay. Uh, uh, in other words, it's dangerous. You're fine, it's the usual. Alright, good. He's chill. Uh, that looks like a Korok puzzle. Nope. I gotta go back to the Lost Woods at some point, but today is not that day. Mipha's <clears throat> grace is ready. Thanks, Mipha. Now I don't need to eat food anymore. <laughs> oh, hold on. Got some gadabouts lollygagging around this here mountain. Hacha! Quick, get the bits! Get the bits before they burn! Ah, uh, story of my mm-hmm. life, this stream. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, whoopsies. I accidentally killed it with a blind fire shot. Cool. Wow. Alright, good good job, me. Ah ha ha! The abandoned north mine. Yeah ha ha. I'm so yeah. glad. It would be so funny if there were Koroks around here, though. Like, they just go, yeah, ha, ha and just immediately burst into flame. Hello. <laughs> Yeesh. What's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know if it's much Koroks, hotter past you. And they you. forget to hang out in the lava. Oh, yeah. And there are also lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. Do you know no. Yonobo? What's a stranger like you asking about Yonobo? Boss wants to know. Huh? Boss does? 
No way, Bluto! <laughs> well, I guess I better tell you where Yonopo is. Is this what it's like when you're on oh. these streams by yourself? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just really enjoyed the like the, the preamble to Varuta because there was actually a lot of dialogue. Uh, yeah. And like after doing the the Va Meadow one, um, which was so fast and like okay get in there go 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 it's like oh finally dialogue characters shit I can make fun of they call me drag <laughs> ton of blah 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 yada yada okay monsters all right cool all right bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Let's get into the mine. Okay, great. No. Hey, stop that. That's boss's cannon. Don't you touch that lever. Don't you do it. Anyway, back to work. I think I'm going to touch that lever. Oh, no. What a crime I have committed. Hmm, what's that pointed at? Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Oops. <laughs> Forgot I already had a, had a bomb popped. All right. In you go, little buddy. Keep hanging out. And it's good. All right. This part of this quest is extremely good. Uh, yeah. I think they were very smart to just do the cannon thing. Ah, uh, shame. Doesn't go that far. That's okay. We can make our own way over. I can go my <laughs> own way. Like oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh, beans. I didn't get enough of the Flame Breaker armor set. I'm sensing a problem. That's okay. What else can we do? Hmm. How many of those elixirs do we have? Can you become fire? None. Great. Yes, okay. Not. Let's just uh, real quick a boop. <laughs> <laughs> Having some technical difficulties. I moved just a little bit on fire. It's fine. Osha would be vastly disappointed in you. I never do this without the full flame breaker armor set, so I really thought I could get away with it. <laughs> I think we can get the pants. Maybe pants and helmet so we can keep the guns out. <laughs> I'm spending so much money on a bit. But you fight so many taluses that I feel like maybe you've got the money to spend this on this. This is bit. true, actually, yeah. Sorry, a little toasty where Yonobo is. We'll go get him later. He'll, he'll be fine. I'm sure whatever's going on He's there. He's gonna be just fine. Well, <laughs> whatever Lizal is teabagging him can take its time. It's fine. We're on that way. Where are the fucking shops? You! Are you a shop? You look like a shop. Ingredients? What if Useless! Were? Where's the other one? What if they just looked like a shop? What would you do then? Meat? Ha! Huh, even more useless. Where do I buy pants? Ha! Ah, found it. Thanks, everybody. Very helpful. Hello, hello, yes, hello, I'd hello. like to buy. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh. Easy. They look so bad. What is this fucking Wallace and Gromit oh. wrong trousers ass? Come on. All right, give me the help. I know why they have the aesthetic they do, but yeah. it's still my least favorite armor set in the game. Yeah. They could have just made I, it really, like, breathable, why? like the Gerudo set. All right, let's put on our... Let's see. Okay. Does that, does that work? Okay. It would be nice to be fully fireproof too, but I think that's okay. God, this is stupid looking. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, now we're killing it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to where we were. Uh, there's an chat message with like Pepsi. Um, currently like, drinking a cherry coke, so I'm gonna go with not my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why Pepsi and Coke are caught in this, like, thousand-year blood feud to try and replicate <laughs> each other's flavors when neither of them Two taste very good. Gale is <laughs> now I like a Coke. Eh. I don't know. I'm more I of a I Sprite I very person. rarely drink soda. Um, the, uh, I don't know if I don't have to keep it up with it, but the city of Philadelphia has been having some water supply issues in the last couple yeah, days. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is an exception to my usual just drinking water at home, um, which we're, we're fine. The best yeah. thing to do is to not panic. Mm -hmm. panic the communications department of the <laughs> water department maybe needed some updated protocols, but otherwise everyone is really fine. Yeah, I have heard that um, 
it seems like only certain regions, uh, like, because certain water treatment plants aren't going to be affected. Um, but I don't know all the yeah, details. Yeah, it's just specific. So the D Delaware River uh, <coughs> upstream, there was a tributary that was polluted by a chemical spill from the factory. Um, basically, there's like latex related right. uh, production chemicals in the water. It take two. Let's not a. Not a as my time. understanding, based on the press releases that I've seen from the water department and uh, updates, they've they've been sending push notifications out to the entire uh, region. Um, everyone in Philly who gets their water from this tributary, which is most of the city proper, um, they're monitoring the treatment plant with frequent testing to kind of gauge when those chemicals, if they will, will hit the treatment plant and if that means that they will get into the water. Um, so far, they have not. They pushed the deadline back to tomorrow for when it could potentially hit. Um, but basically, the, like, they, to the credit of the Philadelphia Water Department, they have done a really good job of, like, being on their testing protocols and everything and like on top of the situation mm. um <clears throat> but the communications branch has been uh following protocols that maybe need to be updated because basically what they've been doing is sending out push notifications to be like don't drink the water and the first one came an hour before the time when they said you should stop drinking the tap water right uh which meant that everyone in the city panicked and ran out and was buying cases of water and every store in the city was like sold out of them um since then, things have pretty much chilled out because they keep pushing the deadline back, so it seems like maybe it won't affect anything, but it's impossible to know for sure, so all we're doing is just watching and waiting. Um, we're fine. Basically, communications is important, and this is why we need STEM people to take one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or hire that calm intern. Uh, whoops. <laughs> hey, who's... <laughs> Got him. Uh, it's not something that you can just, like, boil out or, like, use a Brita filter to get out. I have seen people being like, well, why don't you just boil the water? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, if chemical, it's a latex not chemical like, contaminant, yeah, uh, that's It's not, a chemical contaminant, yeah. not, like, something bacterial or microbial, so most filters and boiling it aren't going to actually get it out of the water. So if it is in the system, it would be a situation where we would have to not drink the water until that water had passed through yeah. our reservoir eventually. Every time I see the just ember patterns forming, I'm like, oh shit, the Yiga clan. But no, it's just because the air's on fire. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, it's sirs! Fiery air. Hey, Ravali, though. help me out on this one. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Whoopsies, my bow broke. Oh no, Not I got bow. the I'm killing a Lionel. Not your bow. <laughs> Get the bits. Stop shooting at me, you guys. What's going on? Ow! Wow. That was a tough one. Uh, honestly, bless up for ice arrows. <laughs> In this region, they're a little bit busted. Oh no, my bits! Not your bits. Anything interesting in here? Ooh, yeah, chest. And thank you. More bits, perhaps. Ice arrows! Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Ooh, and lots of shiny, shiny rocks. All right. So not talking about, have you ever had birch beer? Birch beer? Is that like it's root like, beer? Yeah, I think it's just made with a different kind of tree. It's very popular in this part of the East Coast. Oh, um, no. And every time I have it, I think it just tastes a little bit like a, like a vanilla or root beer. Um, <laughs> Mm. Well, I do like good. root beer. If you're, ever, if you're ever in the Philly, Jersey, tri-state area, keep an eye out for it. Will do. To carry it. Come on, Link. What's going on? Birch beer yet? All right, we got anybody Link. left? All right. We'll save Yonobo in a second. What the hell is this fucking shrine? All right, well, I don't know where the shrine is, so we're going to need to deal with the bleep in a little bit longer. like a proto root beer is a good way of putting it. Yeah. Um, I think it's from like a different tree than root beer. Perhaps <laughs> birch sure. at a guess. Maybe, perhaps. My younger brother uh, once tried to make like birch.
birch beer over here. The trees in the backyard when I was growing up, because those trees, I guess, were the kind. I don't think they were like sarsaparilla, but I don't know huh. exactly what was going on. Basically, he uh, made syrup from them and then didn't sweeten it at all and just had the what? unsweetened syrup in our fridge for like a month. Um, because no one wanted to drink it because it did not taste uh, good. It tasted like hot tree root. <laughs> Such is often the fate of homemade soda attempts. <laughs> he was also like 12. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would also be a factor, I think. <clears throat> All right, let's go make friends with this guy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Aww. Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Buddy. Huh? Huh. There he is. Aww. The Goron guy. The Goron youth. He's adorable. And he needs to get his eyes checked. <laughs> gotten a good look. Whoa, it's a Hylian! Were you the one who broke through that crack to rescue me? Goro. Thanks, brother! <laughs> what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yonobo! Oh, so that's it! Boss told you to come find me! Oh, thank goodness. In any case, I'm sure I'm glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. Makes sense. <laughs> I came to get some painkillers for Boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide seal in the entrance. By the way, How'd you break those rocks at the entrance? Used a cannon. Huh? Huh? You used boss's cannon? Am I in trouble? I'm gonna get a bad grade at rescuing Yonobo. <laughs> this isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Mm. Sorry, I gotta run. Do come by and see the boss later, okay? He always repays a favor. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Like fighting a giant lizard. Okay, bye! Aw, he's so usual. cute. There he goes. Whatever they make champions tunics out of, they should probably use to make armor sets, because they seem thoroughly indestructible. Okay, <laughs> we've saved Yonobo. Now let's see if we can figure out where this shrine is. Hmm, that appears to be a lake of instant death. How unhelpful. Oh, wait a minute, I think I know about this. I see. You see? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nope, that's not gonna work. <laughs> We're much on it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to take like a like a mine cart in, but I feel like there's a way we can cheese this. Also. I've definitely uh Rivali's Gale glided my way in there before and just sort of talked about <laughs> Alright, Fingy's crossed on this. All right, Rivali, don't fuck me on this one. Or like climb down the rock and just kind of scoot in. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Mission accomplished. <laughs> then there's the fun part of how do you get out of there once you leave. Oh, I'm just gonna warp back to Goron City. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Soon we're gonna have another little lizard in there. Oh god, it's one of the No! <laughs> I hate these shrines! I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Nah. I... I hate all of the lava floor shrines. It's like this could have just been a pit. Okay? This could have been an instant death pit! They work the same. My controller's being a little fucky. Um No, no. We gotta make things complicated. Gotta add a little verve to it. I guess. A little fun and pizzazz. A little funky, fresh, and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten jump scared by spike balls that knocked me into lava pits in the Champions Ballad quest, and I'm still holding a grudge, so, you know. <laughs> For some reason, the Daruk's Champions Ballad quest has this obsession with setting Luke on. Uh, Luke. Setting Link on fire. 
Luke. Damn it, I don't want to drop any of these. Luke. Fuck! Use Magnesis, Luke. I guess I can drop the other Stone Smasher? That's probably fine. No, Link. Come on, buddy. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Yes. A program, my dude. <laughs> Jeez. Up, 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 up. Easy, easy. Careful, Hunter. Easy. One slip means death. Yeah. Great. All right, let's be less on fire. Good. Good work, team. Hold on a minute. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it. You figured it out. You we might need to... Feet. We might need to... Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make this in time. Oh, we definitely won't. That's okay, we'll just see if we can figure it out. You'll do your best. And the best is all that any of us can really do. Mm. Somehow I have the feeling this isn't gonna work, but we can try. Oh, really? Huh, sure. Somehow I'm not really sure that's how physics works, but what do I know? Who are we to question that? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I've tried using arrows for this before. It hasn't worked in my experience. It's usually tricky to figure out the exact like shot you gotta take. Yeah. Also, I think it's a little bit less kind at times with the, um, uh, you know, the, the angles you need and... Mm. Okay, hold on. No. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, jeez. Oh, dang it. I remember this part being annoying before, too. I do have to use an arrow, don't I? Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> well, if I must. If I must. If they make it easy to go back, then. I just don't understand it. Alright, buddy. Do we have any of those, like, sniper bows? <clears throat> I think we actually have quite a bu- No, 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 no! I needed that arrow link. Why would you do that? Okay. Good. Perfect. Now we wait. Oh, little guy. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Got it. No! What the? <laughs> Damn it! This shrine is a personal attack on me. All right. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! All righty. That was stupid. <laughs> Hello, Cyan in the chat. Oh, I've hello! How's <laughs> everything doing? <laughs> My good Christian OSP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, wait until we hit 1k and I start dishing on Tears of the Kingdom spoilers. But only from the stream. We're still not talking about the art book. Damn it! Damn it! See this shit? This is why I hate these kinds of shrines! Why are they like this? This is also great uh, for their evidence that Cyan and I are not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> This does still <clears throat> pop up occasionally. Two different women. <laughs> yep. Two extreme. Oh, hold on. I'm sensing murder. Oh, Blue was just at uh, Pax East. And I think I gotta go that next year. Gene a freaking blast. Yeah. <laughs> I went to PAX Unplugged, uh, that's in Philly, um, <coughs> last year, and that rocked, so Ooh. I feel like it's got to be good on the bigger variant as well. Yeah. Um, Alright, what do we got in here? What is it? Show me. <laughs> Something good? Yeah! Oh, these pants are going nice. to be so good when I'm done with them. Alright. <laughs> it's going to rock. Be the coolest pants all time. <clears throat> okay. No, come back. All right. Well, while we're waiting on the elevator, I'll drink a little bit of tea. Good call. Good call. Can't hurt to drink some tea. Oh, I need to get closer. All right. Well, while we're waiting on the elevator again, I'll drink a little more tea. <laughs> Chat 
chat would like you to know that there is another chest probably in this shrine. Oh yeah, I saw it. And I chose not to get it. <laughs> it was a choice. Yes. Thank you very much. The choice was, I already hate lava floor shrines, and I don't want to deal with them any longer than I have to. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It's this fucking thing. Oi. I, this guy. Uh, hmm. I looked away from chat for a few oh, seconds. Oh, oh, oh. It seems to have gotten very existential. Oh no, I hope they're okay. I don't know. Are Cyan and Blue married? Yeah. Yes! Good job! That is a correct <laughs> yeah. statement. Accurate. Why is this? They're, they're married and their wedding was a blast. This shrine makes no sense. <laughs> Why is it so long? It was hard enough getting here! What's happening? I hate when a shrine is difficult to get to and then not just like a gimme chat. Yeah. <laughs> I did the work. <laughs> Whoop. Shit. Alright, one more time. Mm, okay. Alright, hold your horses there, sailor. Ah, dang it. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna be patient. We're gonna wait. We're gonna be chill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah! This is stupid! <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to... Okay, sure. Why not? I think we can, um... Hmm. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out the... Methodology. Yeah. Well, that's certainly not the way to do it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> How many OS colors are there? Um, kind of depends. Red and blue. Nope. Indigo. That's me. Yay. Podcast stuff. Cyan is blue's wife. Um, Ludo history also goes by yellow sometimes. Uh, pops in from time to time as a friend of <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, what? everyone got to see what? me just raise my hands in frustration. I, I want to go back to the sound that just... <laughs> <laughs> what? It was like an elephant. <laughs> Just, just the manifestation of my rage. Don't worry about it. That's what your rage sounds like? <laughs> this shrine is stupid. It was like you tried to blow into a didgeridoo and you missed. <laughs> That's just what my mouth does sometimes. Everybody stop <laughs> bullying me. <laughs> I will not. That was ridiculous. <laughs> and yes, green is a catch-all for anyone who ever, like... <laughs> was Blue's roommate and then appeared in a stream because they were walking through the background or something, basically. Yeah. Alright, let's try. Nope, nope. Does it not light when it's... when it stasis? You guys, you guys have to agree with me, right? This shrine is fucking bullshit. Maybe I can just get them to move at the same rate in stasis. Well, that certainly didn't help. <sighs> it's okay, we got this. You got it. Mm -hmm. What the? What the? I swear to God, it says cancel with B, and it never does. All right, we got to talk about something else because otherwise people will only be paying attention to how bad I am at the shrine, and I can't be having that. <laughs> um, what are other things I've thought about? Uh, See what the I way mean? that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles say "ooh" in the new trailer really scratches an itch in my brain. I really love that. Great. I want that clip looped. If anyone could get that on my desk one time. <laughs> <laughs> just them all going like, ooh, ooh. It's just, ooh. It's a good sound. It's a good, okay. a good ooze. Okay. As it were. That's better than it was. 
It's not fantastic. It's better than it was. <laughs> yes! Oh! Okay. I hate this shrine. This shrine is bullshit. But at least the friends we made along the way was, was nice and helpful. Oh god. Don't do this It to seems me. it is Cleo's gotcha day, which I assume is the day she came home from the shelter. What the... What? What? How? Uh, what? Stasis the waterfall. I don't have to have to stasis then. the waterfall. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to like this one. Okay, I think I got it. Oh. This shrine is bullshit. Everything about it is bullshit. Everyone who likes it is bullshit. This shrine is stupid. Uh, we'll make it. I believe in you. Okay. I don't know if the blue fire was It does. So many issues. Yeah. You having a good time laying on my arm, Ziggy? It's going to fall asleep again. The Zigster cares not. No, she's falling asleep. <coughs> so. I'm just gonna get this pretty close. And then we're gone. Okay. Nope. Stop that, Link. I know Ganondorf can't hear my call. Alright, great. Good work, team. It's not necessary to make me jump over pits of lava. It didn't have to do that. It doesn't need to be this way. And yet. And yet. Oh, but you can get that extra chest, though. Alright, what is it? Oh, a hundred bucks. How lovely. Alright, hold on. I have to go kill some bots. Oh, you know I what? I Ricky played guitar chat. That would make my life <laughs> so much more musical. Grab it underneath this grace in here, just in case. We all hit our cats against each other. Ziggy versus Cleo. Come on. <clears throat> Why would they fight? <laughs> Why would they fight? They've never met. They have yeah. no beef. <laughs> what a crossover, though. Alright, what's in this <laughs> chest? I don't know how good that. I don't know how Ziggy is around other cats because she, I don't. I've never had her when she's been around them. Um, Got her from the shelter, she was pretty young, so I don't think she's ever really been around other cats much. Ah. I don't know how Cleo is either. So really, that's a complete wild card. Yeah. Anything could happen. Alright. We're nearly out of this stupid, stupid shrine. I do think that maybe what would happen is, like, if Ziggy stood just behind Cleo, it would kind of look like Cleo had a dark reflection <laughs> going on. A shadow in the background. Ah! <laughs> Me! Alright, fine. I have no choice but to unleash my full power! hi -ya! Great, I did it. <laughs> I don't even have trust at the end. Okay. Wow. Thanks. Yeah, I did such a great job. My arm is falling asleep. <laughs> Zig's true power. Yes. You're on a diet from the vet, aren't you? You're <laughs> not happy about that. Is somebody cranky? Whoop. Someone's been cranky all week, yeah. Because mm. we've been, I've been slowly reducing the amount of food that she's fed instead of all at once, because I figured all at once and she will um, make my life a living hell. Yeah, definitely. But this week was a particularly big um, jump in that the wet food was reduced a little bit. And I think she is aware of this <laughs> and unhappy. <laughs> But you're just being cute right now. Until you go crazy. Really likes the worms on a string. Got one of those on a stick as a cat toy last time I picked up cat food. Goes crazy for it. No, what's on she fire? He loves the worm on the string. Oh, the torch. Of course the torch is on fire. God damn it. It's for that. My bow's That's okay. The whole point. Great. 
my arrows are a little chat we will talk about tears of the kingdom's new trailer thoughts at 1k I yeah think is what... that's the dealio huh it's saying in chat why listening to the final episode of rolling with difficulty oh have fun <laughs> with it not stressful at all <laughs> We got the Q and A for that tomorrow over oh. on that channel. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> no, I Red, remembered. This is your form over I, I I remembered. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got tomorrow. it on my calendar and everything. Nice. All right. Hello, I am here for the fulfillment of my quest. Hmm. You moved off my arms, Ziggs. Don't bite my face, please. I too loved the last episode and cannot wait for season four. Although I am enjoying my month of not having oh, to I'm edit too close. Oh, I'm too every close. week. I'm a little awkwardly close. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a reward for you. Alright, let's look. You need to store a thing, right? Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, I took my painkillers. Guess it's time to meet up with you, Nobo. No disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rodania a good walloping, Daruk? Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? He's only been dead for a hundred years. See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Oh yeah. How about that? I uh knit. And um, I have a bin made of like old newspapers, like it's like uh, I got from a craft fair years ago, um, full of yarn. And uh, basically, what I've created is the world's most appealing cat dog. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating a little bit of sandwich while the room is getting his flashback in. I need a croissant. You're good. I tell you, Pop off. <laughs> sure is a blast piloting a toy like this around. Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the group. <laughs> Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing. <laughs> Daruk's just, I may not know much. Words, I'll protect <laughs> this land of ours to the death. Yeah, you will. Right? Little guys? <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, by the hey, way, hey. congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> uh... Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. <laughs> strong so personality. Strong. Oh, Daruk, the you the sweet beast. talker. Remember that, and you'll be fine. You big goof. Huh? What the? What the? <laughs> Volcanic activity on an active volcano? Surely well, not. Yeah. I love its little cigar face. I love it too. It's a little lizard All tail. Right. We stand and I. Well, what was I saying? All oh, right, as I was saying. <laughs> I love it. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. Oh, I wonder what that's like. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. It's probably nothing that'll kill me in two days. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. It's not Jack Black, guys. I think if Jack Black had voiced Daruk, we'd know about it. Um, it is guy, the same guy who voices Yonobo, though. Um, but the reason why he sounds similar to Jack Black's Bowser is because when you're doing a big man voice, all of them kind of sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> we fired Yonobo out of a cannon at Rudania. <laughs> no problem. I have no choice because uh, cannonballs have are fun at work, Cyan. Bye, Adios. have fun. Time to go drive off Rudania. Ah, my back. Ah, ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Are you okay? Oh yeah, just peachy. Dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. Oh, I was really looking forward to firing Yonobo out of that cannon. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge from Twilight Princess? 
Heck yeah, I'll go! <laughs> Wait for me! I do, because I haven't really played any other Zelda games. Every time they're like, I see a location with a name, I'm like, I'm sure this means something. I'm sure this is important. I mean, El Bridge of Elden is... Where the fuck is that? Oh, I see, right. That's way back. Um, Bridge of Elden in uh, Twilight Princess is... It has absolutely no resemblance to the Elden Bridge in this game, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. In spirit, it'll always be with me. Um, it's a fun bit in Twilight Princess. I think you encounter the pieces out of order. Basically... Uh, Elden Bridge is broken. Essentially, there's a big chunk in the middle that's missing. Uh, but you have previously encountered a large just chunk of stonework just in the middle of nowhere. And Midna was like, huh, that looks pretty out of place. So when you find the broken bridge, she's like, wait a minute! What about that thing? Um, wait, is it... Oh, hold on. Hold on. You're we have on some... <laughs> we've got some, uh... It's just, you know, dropping meteors a little bit. We're good. Dang it, Radania. Why you gotta try and thwart me like that? Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I'm guy. super going the wrong way. All right. Good. Want spuds. We're doing spuds? You know what to do, chat! Spuds! spuds. No! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it starts throwing meteors at you when you're going the wrong direction. I think it just sort of throws meteors at you. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's less about direction and more about sending a message. Yeah, there we go. That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, poor Bluto, just seeing me run off in completely the wrong direction. You're all... You gotta go tell your noble I won't make it. Oh, yeah, okay. Lizard! <laughs> Lizard! Come here! Ah! Oh, turned invisible. Right, I don't know how to tell you this. Mm -hmm. There's a really big lizard that you're sort of working on. <laughs> Let's go kill it! <laughs> Alright, hold on. Where the fuck uh. is this path? Oh, is it up? No, what? Wait. I am confusion. It's fine, we'll get there eventually. It's about the journey. Mm-hmm. I really All think right. if I was a TMNT, you say, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Like a permanent little corner of Sophia, of uh, Indigo's frontal cortex is oh, permanently op occupied by, um... Ninja Turtles. Ooh. Ninja Turtles in general, ooh. and ooze in specific. Well, the TMNT have had their own section of my brain for years, but of course. ooze specifically is in there now. <laughs> All right, let's do another little one. So satisfying. Oh, Revali. Dang it. Ah, that's fine. We'll recharge it soon. Mm -hmm. Getting pretty close to that Tears of the Kingdom talk. It oh, end. goody! Goody, 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 goody. Have you watched it, by the way? I have watched the trailer, Good. Yes. I saw that it came out, knew that we were doing this at some point today, and I was like, mm, I probably should watch this. <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. I'm sure there's a path that's supposed to lead you up here, but this is more fun. And now I get to use the fact that I'm wearing the climbing gear. Uh, the hard part of Tears of the Kingdom is going to be not having all my old armor sets. Uh, I know the TMNT Power Rangers crossover comics exist, but I have not read them. Um, I do I do approve of this particular combination of things from my childhood, but I just never got around to it. Uh. I had to consume so much media on a monthly basis, so many things slipped through the cracks. How's the water? After, I'm in the midst of recording a batch of movie struck episodes, because typically the way I'll record those is like four or five of them over the course of a month and then just release them over the next few weeks, which means I'm currently watching all the choices for those and it's a wide range. Oh boy. Your film school law teacher was the original voice of Donatello. Well, I hope you took them very seriously. <laughs> Did they sound like Donatello yep. while teaching law school? Because I feel like that's an important question. It's always so cool to me when, like, actors I know from things I like have other jobs. Yes. You see that, Ganon? It happens a lot with voice actors, too. Oh, um, yeah. Voice acting is 100%. It's... It's, it's the labor of love. Yeah. yeah, and it's gig stuff, so there's basically 
you never really have a steady. Bits give me the bits. Give me the bits. Okay. Um, oh, TMNT God. when they went to the future? You mean TMNT Fast Forward from 2003's <laughs> series uh, with before they went back to the sewer? That was the version I grew up on, was the um, 2003 version where Sam Regal voiced Donatello. But... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, comment on Dom's new video. Uh, oh, well, the, I uh... it. <laughs> yeah. The, um... And I cameoed in it. And you cameoed in it, which was fun. I did not know you were doing that until I got the... Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me like, Hey, could I get you to record just like a really quick little like, you know, something that like I warned you guys what Heinlein was like. And I was like, yeah, sure. I gave him a couple takes. There's, uh, uh -huh. There were a few in there that just didn't end up getting used because I don't think they would have worked for the gag. But I, one of the things I did was like, it's time for Deep Thoughts with Red. I told you. I fucking told you. <laughs> yeah, I think we threw some in the end as a blooper or something. But, oh. Um, no, it was, it was always fun when uh, other people I know show up in the other work that I do. I work <laughs> freelance for a lot of clients, so every time I can get a little crossover going, I'm like, ha ha ha, synergy. Yes, yes good. No, it's a really fun video. It's about uh, Starship Troopers. Um, yes. The movie, a uh, satirical adaptation of the Heinlein book. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a fucking wild ride. Yeah, that movie is, I think, a good example of a cult classic in many ways, and... Uh, Pulling footage from it is fun. In this, fucking shrine. this was oh, a good opportunity goodness. to flex my ability to use the Gaussian blur effect. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, because of the uh, the the scene. <laughs> yes, there's a scene where everyone's in the shower in the military camp. Um, I had to do so much blurring in that <laughs> of that footage. I think I got it all, but uh, if I didn't, just never tell me. I don't want to know. Come on, launch me. Ah, oh, curses! I'm that you enjoyed the latest episode of Movie Struck because I had to watch Bionicle again for it. So. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think I got it. I figured it out. Nice. What the fuck? How'd I get up here? <laughs> noir from Rolling with Difficulty um, to Dear Dear Friends, also to Bionicle fans, a thing that I was never particularly into. Um, man. <laughs> Does that thing have some lore to it? Mm. So much lore. So much more than I thought there would be. That's the Bionicle way. Unity. Duty. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny, again, notably, not a virtue you can have, just a thing that happens to yeah, you. Yeah, Destiny's just kind of stuff. <laughs> More on that in the movie story. The first Bionicle movie story. I love not knowing shit about Bionicle. I only got it. Like, I did too, secondhand. Red. <laughs> I did too. What it was was I had like I had a couple cousins who were so into Bionicle, and I just sort of picked up like little <laughs> bits of lore from them because like they had like one of the books, some of the toys. I think one of their like emails was a Bionicle reference for years and years. Uh, and that was my only exposure to it. I was like, hmm, you know, kind of feels good that I'm not, like, as into this, you know, because I don't know much about it. Um, <laughs> and it's just so delightful finding out who in my life are the Bionicle sleeper agents that just, like, <laughs> have been waiting to dish on the subject for years. Yeah. I always knew that Noir was a Bionicle fan. It's been a tenant of, um, our friendship for a minute, but... All right. Yeah. What a nice, easy shrine that was compared to the last one. Okay. Let's Whoa. Get in there. Let's go help Yonobo. Let's go hang out. Let's go subjugate Divine Beast Varudania. And let's go do a bunch of other stuff. Let's go hang with the lizard. Let's go hang out with the big lizard. Yeah, there he is. I see you, bitch. I know you're here, Ganon, you big fucking nerd. <laughs> Oh, hold on. You know who's in peril. Again! Yeah! Oh. Oh, buddy. Have no fear. I will save you. Oh. Hello, friend. Big angry dude. <laughs> Ouchies. Sir! Alright, let's switch to something a little different.
little bit more useful. That could be fun. Just, just kidding, that wasn't fun. We're good. Hylian Shield, you failed me yet again. Just I got some bits. My god, man. Alright, Mifa, anytime. <laughs> Mifa's got you on hold. She's <laughs> I'm just sitting here at one half of a heart. Mifa's just like buzzing with anticipation. You're crazy strong. Girl, Vanina's playing in the background. What the? Yeah, okay. Hey, big bud. Let's chat, bro. All right, chat. If we hit 1K, I'll also eat a nice refreshing meal instead of waiting on Mifa to save me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, still no sign of the boss, huh? He's not coming. Huh? Oh, I'm not coming? But why, Goro? His back hurts. Ooh. After we went through all the trouble to get them. The painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. Suppose I'll head back now. Wait a minute! Mm. Hold it! You're not going back, but why, Goro? I want to board Rudania. Mm. What? You're gonna try to board the Divine Beast? How do you think you are? <laughs> Lord Daruk? He's dangerous in there, <laughs> Goro. Mm. Well, I guess if you're weakened at first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Well, you see, something, something, Princess Zelda, something, something, hundred year slumber. Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Oh. Problem is, good old boss raised the bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'd really be thwarted some by that. Thrilling news! Hey oh! <laughs> we hit one K. Let's talk about Tears of the Kingdom, and I'll eat some nice food. I, do I, I don't think that's the Dino Thunder insignia in this game, but uh, mad respect because that's the best Power Rangers. But <laughs> yes, we've hit 1k! <laughs> Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Oh, we can't get across unless we figure something out. Boss can't come down Chat, here. Whatever Red cannon. has done blah, blah, with her blah, blah, rendition blah, 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 of, um, <laughs> you know, Bo, we will discuss. <laughs> He's just, he won't things. shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking, yup. Uh huh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I love you, bud. This is awesome. Everything about this is great. Be gentle about firing me out of this cannon. All right. Reward number one. A nice hearty breakfast. Heck yeah. Reward number two. So how about that Tears of the Kingdom, am I right? Yeah, it looks cool. Oh my god, the fusion mechanic. Uh, I... <laughs> I actually commented on the video, like, I could feel every other open-world game developer weeping bitter tears at how hard it's gonna be to incorporate. Yeah, you can just stick any yeah. two things together into their open world without wrecking it. Um, I'm interested to see how, like, because it seems like there's a lot more um, creation mechanics in this one. Like, mm -hmm. a lot more effects that you're gonna have on the world itself as opposed to, like, do a quest and maybe something will change, uh, or like everything gets reset. So I'm curious to see like how permanent all the changes that you're making are gonna end up being. Oh, yeah. I imagine it'll be a, sim a similar Blood Moon mechanic, but who knows? Probably. The moment that I lost it was when, uh, spoiler alert, they fused a Keese eyeball to an arrow and made an enemy seeking arrow because, oh pretty, my yeah. god. Finally, a use for monster parts. Like beyond making elixirs. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Um, oh. The funny thing is, there was a bit of like a, like a, it wasn't a flame war, but there were a lot of replies to my thing, and a lot of them were people being like, ugh, I can't believe you think that Nintendo invented that sort of loose crafting mechanic when, uh, I don't know, like Dead or Alive 10 years ago had a duct tape mechanic, and it's like, look me in the fucking eyes and tell me you could use that to build a car. <laughs> Uh, that was just being pe people being purposefully dead inside. Very, you know what this mechanic reminds me a lot of though is it is a very like free world builder in one of the Lego games kind uh. of vibe to it, um, yeah. which is not they're not doing exactly the same thing. You couldn't just pick up any single object in any given Lego game and attach it to another one and make it just work as what you wanted it to. But um, yeah, it's a kind of similar like way of approaching the world? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Games have wanted to be able to do this for a while because, like, free crafting and free building is a really fun concept. It's just, you know, it's usually been limited to, like, you you know, if you can build anything you want, you still can't craft anything you want. Um, mm -hmm. A century's always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. Rodania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt. Mm -hmm. That was good yeah. spotted. And I'm interested to see how, like, often I end up using that in-game. Like, mm. 
how much of the kind of crafting mechanic is going to be critical to getting around the world. Because the thing I really liked about Breath of the Wild, mm. the first one, is that um, it feels you get a good flow going just moving around the map. Yeah. Um, and this almost feels like more of a puzzle mechanic at times, and so I'm curious to see how much of it is going to be like you have to use fusion if you want to get around, versus how much of it's going to be like you can use fusion to make this part easier, or you can use it if you want to just like mess around and kind of like sandbox a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm almost wondering if it's like it's kind of going to be. Uh, <laughs> I think kind of in the same way that this game eased you into it, it's like you ha you get all four champions' powers eventually, um, and then the way you choose to use them is sort of like, oh, you get Mephis Grace and then you sort of learn how to use that. You get Revali's Gale mm -hmm. and you learn how to use that. Um, right, now you stop. Okay, just stay there, big buddy. Easy, easy. I would imagine that the power sets are going to be slightly different from Breath of the Wild's first one. Like, I, I, I wonder if maybe the champion stuff that you have in this game is not necessarily going to be the powers that you have in the next one, or they're going to be pared down or streamlined, or you just have them at the beginning. I don't think that you're going to... There would just be, like, a fair amount of new abilities. That's what I was thinking. I think that some of the uh, runes might be the same, but it's hard to say, mm -hmm. and I don't think you're going to retain the champion's powers. Um, yeah. excited for Sky Islands, though. Yes, I'm so excited for Sky Islands. I know when the second trailer released, a lot of people were like, huh, I don't know if Sky Islands are going to actually be a big part of the game, because we only see a couple shots of them here. But it's like, it's on the box art. It's it's like yeah. a whole gimmick. They're definitely going to do Sky Islands. That's the new part of the map. <laughs> That's how they added to it. Yeah. Put it in the sky, why don't you? <laughs> so I'm very excited for that. And I also like how it seems like they kind of just did a lot of watching different like playthroughs and what people did with their different games and they were like mm -hmm. yeah we can facilitate that all right that might work. nope too much <laughs> put a little too much sriracha on that one let's try this can't you just push those yeah great okay no damn it Yonobo. why must you be so far away I'll get him. Basically, this trailer, though, like, I feel like it did show a bunch of new features, but in terms of my excitement for the game, I'm still pretty much like, yeah, this seems like it's going to be really good. Yeah. <laughs> I ho hope it continues to be coming out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, my only concern is, like, boy, I hope the Switch can handle rendering that and doesn't, doesn't brick itself. Yeah. I know they announced a new, like, OLED version that's, like, themed to it or whatever. Oh, it looks um, so pretty. But... As someone who's still operating on a Switch Lite that I bought on sale at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, I really hope it works! Yeah, I mean, I'm not swapping out my OLED for a new one, no matter how pretty it is. No. I think about getting an OLED sometimes, but I don't really have the cash to drop on it, and also I feel like until the Switch Lite doesn't work, um, I'm pretty committed to just running. Because it's the same games. Yeah, know? it's the same games, it's fine. I think the only game I've ever had trouble with, um, wasn't a matter of console. It was actually like a programming error. Uh, it was uh, Cult of the Lamb. Found a couple glitches mm. in it. Uh, basically, there there was just a, an odd interaction between things that would basically... Um, I don't even remember what happened with it, but something happened with it. Uh, okay, now we gotta hit Redone. Yeah. Yes, doesn't my Joy-Con not work? I do have some Joy-Con drift. Um, before this game comes out, I will probably... There's a game shop near me that I... Everyone is very nice, and I would just take it to them and be like, could you, <laughs> like, swap this out? Because <laughs> it's the Switch Lite, so I can't just, you know, buy a new controller. And I know you can send it into Nintendo, but I don't want to send them my entire Switch Lite. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's Via the, problem the USPS. <laughs> I like this. It's fine. <laughs> Cop a couple bucks and have yeah, less drift and just hope that it holds out longer this time. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I also don't stream, which, yes. is a big, which is like the one big thing that you really can't do from a Switch Lite compared to the full Switch or the OLED. Um, yeah, they go out of their way to make it impossible. Like, they, they somehow make it yeah. so that you just cannot use the HDMI 
Mm -hmm. There just isn't an HDMI connector. Right, but like you also can't like convert it from USB-C yeah. to HDMI or whatever. They're, they're just really yep. careful about that. Um, mm -hmm. Which is a little scummy, but you know, that is the entire point of the Switch Lite, is that you cannot cast it onto a larger TV. It's like the major yep. selling point. Uh, it's the handheld variant. these things dropped ancient cores, but I guess we can't have everything. I hope the fashion is good in the new game. I mean, I love that they just showed the one uh, outfit for Link with the, the long hair on this one, and everyone's <laughs> like, yes! Yes, you get it, you know what we want. Give the people what they want. I also like the, the audacity of being like, we're gonna do 10 minutes of gameplay, and they're showing like Link's new fucked up arm and like the Ultra Hand, and they don't explain any of it. It's like, yeah, no. what fun gameplay we're doing. It's just like, I know this is what this is for, but man, you guys are being clever about this. Like, wait, why are there flying islands? Where's Zelda? What, what happened to us? <laughs> why is our arm like that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Anyway, check out this thing. We stuck some logs together. <laughs> but legitimately so cool. Um, and I love that it's like, like people were like, man, I wish that this game had like a crafting mechanic in that I wish that there was a way that we could make up for a weapon durability loss by, you know, replacing it with, like, stuff that we make. And I love that they were like, yeah, we can do that, but it's gonna be better than that. It's not gonna be like, sit down at this bench and take all this junk in your pockets and craft it into first aid kits and arrows. It was like, take an arrow, slap some ice choo-choo jelly on the end. Now you have made an ice arrow. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. it. I love it so much, and I'm so excited. And I, I, I stand by my statement that I can just feel all the open world game developers that, that uh, have been trying to replicate Breath of the Wild's success weeping bitter tears, having to figure out how to, how to make that work without breaking everything in their games. Because <laughs> they already had to do that with the gliding mechanic that everybody stole. It's so funny to me. People are like, hey, that's not fair. Most games didn't steal. It's like, look at Genshin Impact. Look at Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'm not saying they don't have merit as games. I'm just saying, if you squint, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between them. <laughs> they move and look exactly the same. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right, we're making our way downtown. Well, you know, every every game that gets extremely popular ends up influencing games that come after yeah, and develop you know. new stuff. So there's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But. They probably wouldn't have done an open world Zelda game if they hadn't had like Skyrim years before, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, cool. The same thing in other genres too. Stardew Valley is probably the single most popular farming sim currently, but it's also definitely based in yeah. Harvest Moon that came before it. You know, exactly. like, yeah. every game is gonna take things from others and improve upon it, adapt it, utilize it to make their game better. Is that that's, park in Obo that's somewhere? Just kind of the progression. Sorry, hold on. Some games are gonna do it better than others, also. You know. There he is. Sorry, Yonobo. Didn't mean to didn't mean to leave us stuck. Just had to take care of some issues. I think at one point I was going up Death Mountain and a uh, Blood Moon hit. That was not fun. Wouldn't recommend. Wait up. Whoops. Oh great. Anyway, um <clears throat> yeah. I, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with a game doing something really right and that inspiring a lot of other games to do the same thing. And also, it's like, hey, if I like a game, I'm not going to complain about more of that game. <laughs> um, yeah. I just think it's very funny that Breath of the Wild keeps, like, making it look easy to do just some truly staggering stuff. Uh, <laughs> and then everyone else has to fucking work overtime to, like... Oops. Catch up. Oh. I... I didn't put a bomb in there. But yeah, everyone else has to like work to work overtime to figure out how to replicate the success. Aw, oh, he's mad. Get on up that thing. Boom. Boom. Aw, oh, blizzard. The true power of Druid's protection is always bouncing, you know, about back where I am. <laughs> The number of times uh, I missed with him and then he just kind of crashes down out of the sky next to me is like, sorry, big bud, didn't mean to do that. 
Oh yeah, photo of the sentries. Good idea. Oh man. I just remembered the time in my life when Centuries by was that Fallout Boy? Uh was like the only thing I listened to. <laughs> centuries by Fallout Boy was the only thing you were listening well, to. Well, it was like it was the thing that was stuck in my head on loop, so I needed ah. to listen to it a whole bunch, you know how it is. Um, yeah, that, that was the with man on Muppet like <laughs> It very well might be, like, the top of my Spotify uh, rap this year, just because I listened to it so much in, like, January. Mm. I had uh, the host of another past oh. podcast, Come On Movie Struck, and they oh, picked God. the Muppets movie, and then it was stuck in my head forever. God, you know, <laughs> there, was, there was a sequence of events that led to me listening to Manor Muppet, like, thousands of times, but still... <laughs> Sorry, I remember Yonobo was still following me at the last possible second, ah, and he's just standing there with, like, just at the edge of that thing. Alright, now how am I supposed to kill these things? Maybe that really big rock? No, surely not. You hear that, Redania, you big Apparently fucking Apparently there's new Fallout Boy music. Oh, that's exciting, I think. Am I just, like... <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Okay. Oh, I can't use bomb arrows. I can't use bomb arrows because we are in the the danger the fireplace zone. They'll just um, explode. Yep. Are you a Muppet of a man? I'm absolutely um, a very manly Muppet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Only two options. Nothing magnificent at all. I do think Manor Muppet might be like one of the most perfect karaoke duets, but so rarely have I been in an instance where I was both able to do karaoke, had someone who was willing to do a duet with me, and also access to the karaoke version of the song Manor Muppet. And I feel like that's a flaw. Oh, many that worked places. really well. I guess it did take a pretty direct hit with it, but still. Huh. How about that? Problem solving. Oh god. See? Who sees the bionic people keep tweeting about the war at me? It's your face. Which I'm glad everyone is enjoying it. Hop off, now, I guess. Premier Bionicle YouTuber. That's the thing. By having done two pieces of Bionicle content, I think we've inadvertently become one of the most significant Bionicle influence leaders. <laughs> Spotted. Tweet at Noir, he actually cares about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know, but don't scare off that lizard. I want it. Yeah! Good job, you know, You're a real bro. More like, you know, bro. Am I right? Okay. <laughs> ah! Alright, stay here, bud. I gotta figure out how to kill these things. Uh, what to do? How to defeat these creatures? Most devious. Time will tell. Oh, I got it. There's boxes up there. Hmm. I really like the process for getting into Rudania. I think that Rudania, the actual divine beast, tends to be pretty chill. Or, mm -hmm. you know, I, from what I recall of it, it's not too annoying. And Fireblight, admittedly, I've never fought Fireblight last, so I've never had to deal with him with a higher health bar. But, um, uh -huh. he's. He's pretty easy to incapacitate. Um, but this yeah. process of getting up Death Mountain and you having to sort of problem solve so that Yonobo doesn't, you know, blunder into die. these things and die, just so fun. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that one. I feel like of all the Divine Beast, like, challenges to get to them, this is the one that, as much as it is kind of a pain to do, there's a process to it that I really like. Yeah, it feels nice. I think for volleys is still the most fun, but I just really like the mechanic of archery in the air. It also like, helps that I... volleys is the quickest and the easiest. It feels like there yeah. was supposed to be something there, and they were like, nah. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> the bits are just floating, and I can't get them. Oh no. Oh wait, I guess maybe I can? It gave me the prompt for just a second. Oh, forget this. <laughs> hey, I got it. All right, Yonobo, my man. Come on down. Also, I think Yonobo can't climb. 
or at least can't climb well. So that kind of... Oh, shit! It's, uh... <laughs> it's the thing from the thumbnail. Wait yeah. Alright, you know, Bowie, I need you to stay here. Straight. Shit! You saw nothing. <laughs> uh, whatever. Hold on. Uh, yeah, let's kill him. I mean, we're, we were gonna. Uh, just these things take so long. Oh god, oh god. Easy, easy. Don't ragdoll off the end. <laughs> Not here. We did it. Alright, good work, team. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a shot. Ho, 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 ho. There's our little buddy. All right. Oh, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Still. <laughs> it's gonna oh, be we need to think of another goal. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks, everyone, for raising another 200, even though I didn't have a goal for you. Is there something you've been putting off doing in game that perhaps can make a good goal? I mean, honestly, Varudania was that thing. Um, <laughs> we have the last memory, but that's basically like memory number twelve, the secret one. Um, uh -huh. I guess it's memory thirteen. Uh, but like, we know where that is. Uh, I just haven't gotten it yet. Um, boy, did we do it? Is that it? But um, getting the, uh, getting those last two cores, fully upgrading the guardian, would be good. Mm. Wow! Aw, oh, he went into the lava. Oh damn it! That's what we didn't want to happen. Hello, chat. Uh, I am Indigo, not Cyan. Again, <laughs> two different women. <laughs> Someday so we will cool. become really distinct. Um. It's time Streams are really the, the only place this comes this up nowadays. Chance. Podcast. <laughs> Wee. It's always me. It's <laughs> always Indigo. Cyan does not host the podcast. She's appeared in a few episodes as a guest, but it's always called out. Uh, streams are really the, the wild west of which OSP woman is. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's Rudania. Quickly, while he's distracted. More sandwich. I always thought I had a little bit of a lower register than Cyan did, but I guess on stream it does sound pretty similar. Mm. Like in the scale of female voices hey, on OSP, Luton. high pitch to low pitch, I always imagined it went Cyan, me, you. Yeah. But I don't know. I always knew you come. I guess back. that kind of isn't you as know, much of a spectrum I as I think it is. <laughs> You're here to take control right. of old Rodania back Just a again, second. eh? That sandwich oh. got the best of me. Needed to get a napkin. Oh, uh, ho, ho, ho. Little right. sandwich action. Well, I'm gone. You're Do your best me impressions. That shows the guts of this place. Well, uh, beans. Uh, what, what was the... Uh, this is just becoming Danny. That's not good. Um, <clears throat> I'm really excited you for Tears of the Kingdom. I think it's going to be a, a fun game, but everyone else is going to copy now, this mechanic the afterwards. Wahaha. Uh, All right, I'm back. What's going on? Uh, with nothing. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Oh, love that I just saw the person shouting beans. Very accurate. Beans! Again, uh, a thing that I picked up from you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part of Barudania I actually really like, that it's completely dark early on. Mm hmm It is cool that it, it, it does, like, feel like you're doing something. Danny is not me doing the red impression. <laughs> Rude. Thank you very much. Ooh, hello. I feel like I had a specific voice in mind when we first started rolling with difficulty for like, this is the kind of voice I want to do for Danny, but then it's sort of just become 
Wait, I need my torch. Raspy. Yeah, I can't remember which character I had in mind. I'm like, this is the kind of voice I'm looking for. So I feel like there was one, but this works. Throwing my mind back. I can think of like personality-wise the characters that I had in mind as like these are good influences, but <laughs> couldn't tell you. I thought the impression was just <clears throat> like, hey, this person smokes an awful lot. Yeah, kinda. You know what? It's a little bit Charlie Day from Always Sunny. Which is where a lot of that voice impression is coming from. Alright, hold on. Well, well Ooh, I like to see stuff up. Ooh, I wonder. It does provide a little bit of light. We're going full Lord of the Rings here, fellas. Thank you. Swap. There's so many friggin' bits in here. I wonder if they increase how much goop there is if, you, if this is your last Divine Beast. Hmm. Did Maybe. I get it? Did I miss? Oh, I see. There was a spike in the way. Now you're like them apples, Ganon. Glows in the presence of Valis. Oh, hold on. I don't need to be using electric arrows for this. I just like it. It's more fun. It lights up. Little sparks. Little sparky sparks. Little shiny action. Nice. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, got any bad bows I can drop? Whoop, nope. Nah. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. Okay. Anyway, I still need to think of a good thing to do next. I mean, we're gonna start the, um, oop, missed one. We're gonna start the Champion's Ballad, uh, at least a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe if we hit 3k, we start doing the one-hit obliterator. Um, because that's kind of a pain in the ass, but also extremely cool. Because that's the first thing you have to do before you do the other things. Um, <laughs> Good job, Brain. That's the first uh, part of the Champion's Ballad DLC. You have to do the um, one-hit obliterator quest on the Great Plateau. And it basically just turns you into a glass cannon. You can kill anything in one hit, but you get killed in one hit by anything. Um, and it's kind of a pain. So let's put that down mm -hmm. as a maybe. I wasn't yeah. paying attention when Daruk told me where the guide and stone is. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna feel this one out. Huh. Is it in here? Is it? Yay, it is! Mission accomplished. <clears throat> How much would I need to raise for the Master Sword trial? Um, a lot. Well, okay. <laughs> That's not quite true. I just get really tilted at the Master Trials because I hate having to redo progress I've already done. Um, mm. So I'd be willing to start them at a certain point, but that doesn't mean I'd be willing to finish them. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Alright, can we open the windows on this thing nice now? Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. I don't think if there's anything... The to do that control the Something more like kind of freeform and uh, collecty could be fun. Give us an excuse to explore the map. Like killing a bunch more Guardian Stalkers and getting cores. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna do that anyway. Though. I might do that anyway. <laughs> there we go. See? Fresh air and sunshine. Well. Are there any outfits you need to assemble? Uh, well, uh, I don't think we've gotten all the EX outfits actually. We could do more of those. Could do more of those. Could be fun. A little fashion show. Alright, let's rotate. Rotate the lizard. Oh, Ooh. I did it wrong. Uh. Ah! Yeah, yeah, there it is. Give me that turn. Oh, there's a chest down there. We can check that out. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. This is the way. Oh, did everyone hear about that thing they did in Star Wars recently? What thing? Uh, on Mandal- oh, the chest's already open. That's disappointing. Uh, on Mandalorian, uh, they finally explained how, uh, Grogu survived Order 66, uh, 
I mean, fine, he's always going to be Baby Yoda to us. But at least it's nice to know that, uh, that George Lucas's convention of naming characters terrible has not been uh, forgotten. Anyway, uh, they basically showed who rescued him, uh, and it was a Jedi played by, I believe his name is Ahmed Best, uh, aka Jar Jar. So basically they were like, hey, we're really fucking sorry that we cast you as a character so laughably unlikable that um, you were bullied relentlessly for years and years by really, really awful people. Do you want to play a really, really cool guy who rescued the most beloved character in recent Star Wars history? And he was like, sure. So. <laughs> we love it. We love to see it. Ah. We love to see it. And apparently he played that Jedi before in a, uh, like a game show for kids. Um, that was like... You know, oh, young Padawans get to go through and, you know, uh, do, like, uh, fun little uh, trials to become Jedi Padawans. That's cool. And now it's like, he's canon. And also, he saved Baby Yoda. So, you're all welcome. Right. So, we love it. We love to see it. All right, let's see if rotating the, uh, the lizard helps. When in doubt, twist the lizard. <laughs> Which sounds inappropriate. One of our D and D home games, my uh, warlock has a lizard as a familiar. Oh, I love him. An incredibly silly little marine iguana. And Bart. I love Bart. Who could resist? Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help. And I don't think rotating the lizard helped either. So let's rotate the lizard again. I like that Rudania doesn't have a lot going on. Oh, wait, I'm gonna be in the fire. Okay. Ooh. No chest. Yeah, there's a gap. Yep. Uh -huh. secret. Oh, right. Thanks. Great. Okay, and the other one? Something good, maybe? Yep. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, that's right. It's this. Alright. Nope. There we go. Yeah. Ah. We go in. Oh, oh. No. Come on, guys. Really? <laughs> Let's we're, get pull, moving. we're pulling this act together. And then we're gonna go kill Varudania. Well, no, we're gonna fill, kill Fireblood Ganon and free Varudania. And then he's going to be our lizard friend. <laughs> nice. Okay. What are we missing? Nice and easy. Oh, right, the orb. I forgot about the orb. Hold on. Let's check. That. Everyone always forgets about the orb. Okay, there's one in the tail, one on the left, and then there's the one on the back that's kind of annoying. Uh, hold on. Right, okay. I remember this one taking a lot more rotations than it needed to the last time I tried it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work out this time. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get a little bit of fresh air. Out of the nice air-conditioned Divine Beast. Whoops, and into the zone where something is catching fire. What's on fire? Oh, right, okay. Great. That's the only thing we can fire. What are we doing? Oh, you know what we can absolutely do? We can absolutely just cheese this with Chloe's Gale after all. Um, nice. Except, hold on. If I recall correctly, part of this requires Ancient Flame. 
Actually, I don't remember that for sure. So let's let's just let's survey the terrain. <laughs> Get a little Rivali's Gale in there. We are. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Boy, that's a big situation, isn't it? Okay. Right. So there's like a gate. Uh, yep. There's an ancient thing we need to do. Okay. Cool. Whoops. Uh oh, came down on the uh, wrong side. Okay. <laughs> right, easy. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll just you burn another Revali scale. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> Very helpful. Flame. Okay. Little fire action. Yeah, we need, we need, we need that tasty. Where, I feel like there's some closer. Right? Maybe not. Huh. All right. Chat will be happy to tell me what I'm doing wrong afterwards. <laughs> ah, I knew it. I knew there was closer fire, but that's okay. We're fine. Durability on this thing's pretty good, as I understand it. Hmm. Okay, now I think we're gonna get I'm up. I'm sure it'll here. be fine. Probably. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Everything is going to be totes my goats a okay. All right. Okay. Think. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Whoops. Hold on. Let's switch back to something that isn't on fire. Okay. Here's now... Indigo, the editor. Uh, I used to edit Blue's videos. Now I am the podcast producer, so I edit podcasts, uh, but I do edit videos freelance for other. Oops. Oh boy. Oh my God. Where'd these things come from? Oh God. <laughs> Something going wrong there, Red? No. We're good. There were like four Lizzo sure? skulls all queued up, ready to strike. But it's cool. We're fine. You say so. Well, for some reason, it seems I can't follow us inside. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Can't really speak to the logic on that, but who am I to complain? Is the orb coming? The orb is coming! <laughs> yes! Be free! Yeah! All right. Incredible. Hello, terminal. Thank you. <laughs> there are two terminals remaining. Yeah. Just a little more. Just a little more. All right, what do we got? Ooh. There's the one on the back and the one in the butt. All right, let's make a little go upright again. Never works. Oh, right, the one with the fire. Yeah, we've been here before.
how did I get involved with editing Blue's videos uh, back in the day? Remaining. Blue Just and I went to college together. Yeah. And I majored in film and TV production, so when he was looking for an editor, um, he asked if I wanted to, and I did. Uh, and since then, he's gone back to editing his own videos, because I kind of took over the, with the podcast stuff more so, but mm -hmm. it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I've now got a deep library of sound effects and weird graphics. Ah, <laughs> uh, the things you learn hanging out with him. Alright, let's see. Yes. Alright, I don't think you're supposed to do it this way. But we have Rivali's Gale, so... Oh, we might not need to do this. Let's see. Lizelle's skulls are gonna show up. Okay. So there's one left and it's right up there. Now I don't remember which way the lizard turns. So if we do it the wrong way, we risk getting pitched off into the lava. So let's not do that. Generally a good idea. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, hold on. Dodge that Dang at all it. possible costs. <sighs> okay, well. Now there's not goop on our terminal anymore, which is helpful. Nice. Classic. Getting up there is still gonna be a pain though, now that we've used our last Rivali's Gale for a little while. <gasps> my geometry brain to figure out which direction the lizard will twist. Okay, if it goes there, we still will have a place to stand. <laughs> Let's twist that lizard, baby! Twist that lizard! Welcome back to everybody's favorite game show, <laughs> Twist That Lizard! Okay, great. Uh, what the fuck? Why is it still there? What? Why is the thing still there? I, but I killed it. Apparently not well enough. What's happening? I shot the thingy. We're gonna have to twist that lizard again. <laughs> you can only twist so many lizards. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, hold on. There might be more goop on the other side. The other side. Aha! I knew it. Just Sick it again and goop. Whoa. 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 Alright. Let's let's live a little dangerously on this one. What could possibly go wrong? I tell you what'll go wrong. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Nothing's gonna go wrong for us. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong ever again. Nothing's gonna ever go wrong. How the fuck am I? No, we're fine. And nothing's gonna go wrong. Everything's great forever. All right, Link, now stay right there. We're gonna twist that lizard one more time. Twist that no! No! <laughs> oh god, that was scary. <laughs> All right, good work, Link. Yikes. <laughs> Sheikah Slate authenticated. Nice. That was the last turn. Sheikah Slate. Now go ahead and start up the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Sure thing, Daruk. Do I need Stay to watch out for anything? Guy. Looks like not. <laughs> oh boy. You know the pulsing orange thing is only good news. Oh yeah, top tier. No, ready, no. folks? Oh, hold on. We gotta get prepped first. There we go. Now we're ready.
yeah. the evil. She's like, uh, excuse you, there is only room for one of us in this particular establishment. You know this blight is bad news because it has ass. Pain in the crack is Dan and work. I don't then know if that's how I would describe the blight, people. but I suppose to each their own. It has abs! Good luck, Look! Go get you know it, Maru. <laughs> first things first. Snap the pig! Yay! Oh, what a Aww. good picture. Oh, making biscuits zigzag. All right, now. I'd love to go for it, Daruk, except I just hit myself, too. Oh. Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Not doing it on purpose. Uh. Whoops. Dang it, why is he so tall? This is not dead. Whoops. Alright, thanks, Mipha. It is my pleasure. Oh, I'm hiding. Now's your chance! I know, Daru. Why does that not work the second time? <laughs> I gotta stop blowing myself up when I do that. I think he likes to smush her face into like armpits and things. Adorable. Like when she's sitting on you. Lay it on, little guy. There he goes. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he fell into the lava. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Wow. Can't believe that worked. Okay. Now, I only sort of remember how to get back to this point. Flaming ball is for the best. Guess so. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, real still. This won't hurt a bit. Red, What? It's Ganon! Who am I offending? Ganon. Stop <laughs> Like, my man. <laughs> I think I increased the range on those. And I keep not compensating for that. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. That's a flaming ball of death. So, oh, hold on. Gotta eat some food. <laughs> uh, Mifa's <laughs> grace already procced, so we can't rely on that again. Oh, who can resist? Yeah! Whew. Well, that was fun. <laughs> They specifically gave Fire the abs just to show oh, why. Oh. But he's not. Thunderblade. Each of them represents a, a different aspect of Ganon's personality. You see, Thunderblight is terrifying in battle. Windblight, a master of the skies. And Fireblight is shredded, bitch! I want you to tell me how Masters of the Skies is a personality trait. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, ask for volley. <laughs>
See, Daruk's protection is great if you're only sort of good at parrying stuff, which I am. Water so. blight is the heart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Water blight represents Ganon's tendency to occasionally hang upside down from things like a bat. Yep, we're good. Yes. The lizard is our friend now! The ultimate lizard twist. Alright, while this plays out, I need to eat more sandwich. Okay, Red's eating a sandwich. Always fun times. What kind of sandwich is it? PB and J, baby. Mm. Great work, little guy! Aw, oh, thanks, Daruk. <laughs> Daruk. I just want to hug. I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was oh. doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. Ziggy is also, because she's a black I'm gonna cat, take um, this down the mountain. any piece I'll have of a dust shot or debris Ganon anywhere Ganon. in this apartment <laughs> catches itself there. So she always looks a little Hyrule bit Castle, We're gonna light that thing up. It's great. She's like a walking vacuum cleaner. I want to give you something. I don't it's need a, a Roomba, special ever. power I've of mine called Daruk's protection. Its name is Ziki. <laughs> it's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I can on fire. This is great. Mm -hmm. Got all these little spirit orbs around. <laughs> Orbs, as Lou would say. I'm the one who says that. Orbs, as from Red this would moment say. Through, <laughs> the power of protection from the depths of my Tyrion soul so. now lives inside you. I actually really hope we keep the divine, uh, the the champion good powers. Good luck, little guy. Because it's like I like them a lot, and I feel like the that princess. they would be a good thing to keep. But I can't imagine a world where they're only adding, like. I just like, think, I like, wonder narratively, it's, it's kind of beautiful. Yeah, I guess it depends on how much of a... How much direct sequel they want to do, mm. too. Oh boy, it's time for my favorite musical number! King Lizard. Probably my favorite like divine beast in terms of design. Well, that definitely is the creepiest. <laughs> it's the, the, it's the one that it feels the most like a weapon, and I like yeah. it. Once Link is in the castle, Ruthania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here, even after a hundred years. The old rolling. Sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fare now that the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every. Huh? <sighs> hey, look at that! Aww. Still going strong indeed. Ha! Wow. Logistically, I wonder how the champion's tunic got from uh, Daruk to Yanobo. Huh. Yeah. 
Perhaps maybe before he went to... to maybe. It seemed like a likely. replica. <laughs> maybe before he went to the Divine Beast, he, like, dropped in on the family he clearly had and was like, mm. here, wrap the baby in this, and then just left. <laughs> All right, BRB. It'll be great for his character design in, like, 100 years. Divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. Hell yeah. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get to it. But first I got some DLC questing to do. <laughs> you know how it is. Just gotta get those upgrades. <laughs> the grind never stops. <laughs> On that... Grind, baby. <laughs> Hello, oh. Yanobo. Well, she went for a piece of Rodania, Goro. Don't exactly know what you were doing in Rodania, but, uh, seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rodania. I wonder, was that his ghost? <laughs> like, Scoob. I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot huh? braver now, Goro. What the fuck? <laughs> Talked to Boss about you, and he said to bring you to him. An order from Boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Rivali's gale is now ready. Not now, Rivali. I'm hanging out with my bestie, Daruk. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's you! You know what told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that. I can't believe you conquered Rodania. Color me impressed. Mm. Hey, Did you have to do it? Just my back pain went away. I was all ready and raring to go over Rodania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna suspect that until you said it. Okay, now we're besties, I guess. Oh, well, I don't know you've said it. Enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this! <laughs> I'm beastar. Rodania's calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now his face is just split open and he's aiming a laser straight at the castle. Nice and peaceful. Go back to digging for <laughs> No, still got it. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's some treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it, it's yours. Yada yeah, yada yeah, yeah. blade, cool, yep, thank you. Ah. However, it's a Hylian, you probably already noticed, but apparently a hundred years ago, the Hylian champion, a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> that said, you've got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk! Ha ha ha! Thanks. I'm so determined to not let you get any sort of uh, public opinion in your favor. <laughs> no. Alright. I also like how, I, I think if you've done this without getting the Master Sword yet, they're like, oh, you should really get the Master Sword. So it's interesting yeah. that they still have the dialogue, even if you've already gotten the Master Sword. Mm -hmm. Really doubling down. Nice. This is going straight in my house. In fact, <laughs> let's go there right now. Whoa. Where's my fucking house? There we go. Tahatano Village. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Sorry, had to crack my shoulder there. We're good. There, we got all four beasts. Look at that. Just lined up on the loading screen under our Aww. paltry number of rupees. Little guys hanging out. Just a bunch of little guys. Just some little dudes. Little guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Hateno. Oh, oh, Link. I forgot about this. Link. 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 I've witnessed, your, I've witnessed journey. your journey. You've you overcome, overcome every challenge, every laid, challenge before laid before you. Oh, wait, she's saying it. I don't need to say it. Rodania. <laughs> Meadow. Naboris. Link, get me a latte while you're All there. All the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, 
I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. There you will meet with Yoda, the Jedi that trained me. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Ye friggin' ha. All right, but first, my house. Ah, oh, look at that. Radiant in the home. gloom. Hey guys, don't spam in the chat. Oh no, who was spamming? They're in timeout, but uh, uh yeah. Good. Right. Don't do that. Alright, I need to, uh... There he is. Alrighty, there we go. We've got, we've got Mipha, Daruk, Raposa, and Ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, right. Let me uh, switch back to my less stupid looking armor. Oh, you know, those hits probably mm. hurt a lot because I couldn't have my actually good armor on because I would have caught fire. Now that makes sense. You're getting there. It's all coming together. Sure. Yeah, why not? It's a tolerable quote. Okay. What to do? Ooh, hold on. First, let's pick up this rock. Hey, ya! Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone suggested trying Eventide for 2K. Just like Master oh, that Trials fun. Light. Yeah. I think, um. I think maybe 2K we start the Champion's Ballad. We do the, uh. We, we go back to the Shrine of Resurrection, uh. Put the Sheikah Slate in there, and we get the one hit obliterator and work our way through that. Actually, I'd feel like I want to do that less than Eventide, so maybe we make that one 3k. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. What else do we got? Um, okay, Champion's Ballad. Okay. Whew, let's see. Oh, hold on. Do I still need to- Oh! Yeah, I should probably go talk to Impa about that. May as well. While we're checking things off the box. Checking boxes off the thing. Checking boxes and things. checking out these boxes, I think this is where I gotta jump off of stream. I got some work to do, but... Ah, yes. Sounds good. Godspeed. Thank you. And thanks Fight for being here you. during the stream. In my, I don't know. Go <laughs> find another Talos or something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> gladly. Easily. I'll do that one for free. <laughs> Adios. Alright, bye! Alright, just a second, squad fam. Once we got that donezo, I'll just close down Discord. Take off these uncomfy headphones. Little Siglindo. Alright, nobody panic. Everybody stop panicking! Alright, we're good. Okay. Okay. And the mic. And the phone. And now I need to keep an eye on the chat. Or at least half an eye on the chat. Two thirds of my eyes. Okay. Let's go talk to Impa. Hey, girl. Ah, I sense it. Their presence. Daruk, Robosa, Ravioli, and Fishwife. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone, Aww. but I could not protect them. Oh, this is sad now. <laughs> if this was such a cheery story before. Aw, uh, even ravioli. Oh, shit! Oh. 
Sorry, who the hell dropped a thousand dollars at once? Anonymous? My god. You have the blessing of the divine beast on your side. Blah, blah, blah. Be prepared for anything. I'm not going there yet. Oh, boy. Wow, incredible. Okay. Uh, I think I said 2k was uh, either eventide or the... I think I switched which one I wanted to do. It was either eventide or it was the... Um... Yeah, I guess we're doing eventide. Damn, alright. Alright, and remember, 3k, we're gonna see if we can start the Champion's Ballad. We're not gonna... I think we're not just going to rush through the Champion's Ballad, because what it does, I guess, spoiler alert, um, the Champion's Ballad questline will essentially, once we get through the one-hit obliterated Great Plateau stuff, it'll pop up a bunch of shrines and shrine quests all over the world, and then you basically go and do those. Uh, the last time I did this, I sort of rushed through them, but we don't have to. We can sort of... You know, take our sweet time with it. Figure stuff out. All right, there it is. So do we have any stamina food, just in case? Oh yeah, we're fine. Let's see if this works. This might not. We might need a rat for this. And then we get to go and read all the Champion's Diaries. That's gonna be fun. Ah, hmm. I get the feeling we're not gonna have as much vertical lift as I thought we needed for this. But there is a raft at the shrine. Oh, but you know what there isn't? I don't think there's a Korok. There is a tree that we could presumably cut down for a Korok leaf if we need it. Opinions on fighting Lynels? Pretty fun, all things considered. We've, we've done a couple of those. Uh, we've killed the Ploymus Mountain Lionel twice. And we did the Colosseum one uh, once, I think. Which is pretty fun. It's not easy, and I know the bigger ones have spongier health bars, but like, it's fine. We could have warped to this shrine and saved the stamina. But it's fine. <sighs> Alright, we got a leaf? No, there's no leaf. There was a crab! No! Yeah, we got it. Okay, great. There's a leaf. Awesome. Alright, what excellent weapons should I drop? Uh, nah, I like the Korok sword. And we can get a Dragon Bone Boko Club anywhere. Unlike this leaf. Oh, look at that sunrise. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright. Let's go LARP Link's Awakening. No, Urbosa! <laughs> I just wanted to move a raft. It's okay. It's good that she's recharging that. Ooh, it does. Huh. Huh. Pretty cool. Huh. Oh, you guys are so right. Hold on. Where's my shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh no, no, Link. Come on, man. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, Daruk, a little quick to the trigger there. <laughs> Daruk. <laughs> I just want to use my normal shield. It's fine. 
I think we'll just do this normally and pick up speed the normal way. I guess. Whatever. Anyway, I'm excited to play Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out. I'm probably going to do an at-home game just so I sort of get a feel for it first. Uh, but that would probably be pretty quick. Um, I don't think it's going to feel the same as this game. Just from the mechanics they showed today, it really seems like it's going to be a very different experience. Here we go. Welcome to Eventide, baby. Let's change back to our regular shirt. You know, I wonder... The shrine quest doesn't technically start until you step on Eventide. So I'm wondering if I can clear up some of it first. Probably not, I'm just curious. <laughs> Probably not. Alright, let's go. My pants! Wow, I had no idea that you could kill these things early. That feels like forbidden knowledge. It's nice that I get to keep all my item slots, though. Oh no, I need that! Alright, anything in here? Nice! Alright, what do we got here? Could have dropped some of my items first and then still have them, but that's okay, we'll live. Oh, nice. Ooh, lizard? <gasps> Even better. For God's sake. Let's get more crabs. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Those rocks were suspicious. That's okay. <laughs> Any bits? No bits. Oh, yes, bits. How lovely. Eventide really rewards you for scavenging, so. Anything? No. Okay. I wonder if there's a Korok on Eventide. That would be fun. So basically, we're going to need to get our orb out there at some point. We're going to need to find the dang thing first. Oh boy. Whoop. I'm so used to one shotting these things. Nice. Okay. How relaxing and fun. Who could resist being stranded on a desert island for a while? Uh, the stuff about Tears of the Kingdom. I I don't think it's gonna feel the same as Breath of the Wild. Just at a guess. 
it really feels like the vibes are going to be completely different. And it's one of those things where the, the gameplay really changes the way you feel about it. And it looks like the new mechanics are going to be pretty buck wild. Uh, I have no idea what they're going to do in the long term and how they're going to shape the gameplay, but it really feels like something special. Um, I'm kind of hoping that you aren't going to need to do the crazy traversal mechanics to uh, get places. I'm sort of hoping you'll still just be able to, you know, climb stuff as you want. Because I don't always have a head for that stuff, but... I think they'll probably teach it to you pretty nice and slow. Just to make things work. Yeah, I am also in the camp as long as Zelda doesn't die, I'm good. Anything else can happen. I don't care what. Uh-oh. Alright, I know for sure there's a way I can do this that doesn't make me fight the Hinox first. What was that? Nothing. Okay. I've spotted another crab. Come here, you. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Alright, we're not dealing with that Hinox until we absolutely have to. I've been killed by it before, and it's really annoying having to redo the rest of the island. That's okay, maybe I can lure them out one at a time. Oh no. It would have been weird if Ganondorf could hear my call, actually. God, the charge of the Light Brigade. Actually, this is pretty good. We can separate them from themselves. <laughs> anyway. All right, fellas, where'd you go? Oh, that worked well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, good. This is better. Nice. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Alright. It's all coming together. What a beautiful island to be stuck on. Oops. bits. Awesome. Okay, that worked great. All right. And... Ah, uh, okay. Where is the orb that I'm supposed to put in the one down there? Is 
that the Hinox one? Oh wait, hold on. I need these. Right, I'm scavenging for resources. Oh god. Come on, man. Hold on. That's so jiggly. Oh no! My foods! Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. Where the fuck is the orb that it's supposed to put in this? There's a bad guy treehouse with an orb. Yeah, I know, it's up there. But there's also that thing, which I don't want to fight yet. Alright, whatever. We're doing this one thing at a time. <laughs> Yes, but now I need arrows. Shit. Urbosa's fury is ready. Not now, Urbosa. Oh, actually, that would be very useful. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, that worked. Great. All right. Spin to win! Oh god. Thanks, Rosa. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, where'd the others go? Did they all just evaporate? No, that's not right. Wow! Damn, Urbosa! Did she literally just disintegrate all of them? I think maybe I'm a little high level for this. Let's drop some tree branches. No. Thank you. God, woman. Terrifying. Oh, god damn it, it's going to storm! This is stupid! Okay. What do I have that won't burn? Or... Okay. What do I have that won't get struck by lightning, more like? Uh, okay. We're good. Perfect. See if we can just move this out of the way with bombs rather than having to stasis it. Yep. Nope. Sounds about right. Let's see if we can do both. So I don't need to waste weapon durability on it. Nope. No. Did that work? No! Awesome. Let's just hit it with something. Whatever. Yes, there is an orb there, but we're going to put it in the pedestal right here. Did 
Yeah, perfect. Awesome, that's one. Now we need to, well, at some point we're gonna need to get that fire lit. Once the lightning storm stops. But until then, let's see, what else can we do? I think there's a camp I missed. Ah, and I think I found it. Yep. And I found the orb. <sighs> what to do? How near is that to the heavens? You know what? Mipha's grace is dead. Thanks, Mipha. So that's going to be very helpful. What the hell are they doing? Just vibing, I guess. All right, let's see if we can get that one on top. Oh, no! Link! Oh, hold on. It's a tree. Oh. All right, just be careful. <laughs> okay, great. this one first. You, no, damn it. There we go. Sheesh. All right, well, that was very fun. And helpful. All right. it. Great. Oops, he's still alive. Okay. Whew, sorry. Gotta get in the zone. Nice. Take that. Take those. Take you. Okay, great. He's dead. Great. Okay, let's see. Orb location. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Ooh, what's in here? Nice. No, okay, whatever. What's in this? I guess I'll find out later. All righty, let's see. Oh, let's steer as clear of the Hinox as possible. <laughs> Is it Hinox or Hinox? Oh crap. Oh god damn it! Okay. I'm just gonna book it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna book it. Just keep running, Link. Just don't worry about it. It's Hinox? Guess that makes sense. Alright, and now what we have to do is kill the Hinox. And survive, I guess. But, you know, whatever. How hard could that be? some stuff. Oh, don't put a blood moon. Oh, thank god, it's an all moon. How awful would that be on even tide? Blood moon on even tide island. Sounds like the name of, like, a pulp horror novel. Okay. Come on. Second hearty durian. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 
Okay, now we're gonna use my super clever technique. Ooh, I'll take that. My, my brilliant pro strat for lighting a cooking fire. All right, hear me out on this one. Minimum safe distance, minimum safe distance. See? Genius. Okay, let's get some hearty foods. Uh, let's get some... Uh, can we just cook this by itself? Will that work? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> wow, sure, okay. Yeah, I had a torch, but I didn't have- I guess I did have a source of fire immediately present, but this is fine. This was fine, okay? Whoops. <laughs> nice. Alright, so as long as the Hinox doesn't flatten us in one hit, which Mifo will protect us from, we should be good to go. And we do have a Urbosa's Fury, which does an absolute number on those things, so... You might be in a good... You might be in a good spot. Which is good, because if I have to redo this, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good combo. Crabs and bananas. Two great tastes that taste great together. Yeah, sure. Why not? Actually... Why not just maximize our power? Right? Wait, those are the same ones, right? Yeah. Perfect. We don't have any armor because we're doing Eventide Island. It's a challenge shrine thingy. It's fine. We'll be fine. What could go wrong? Literally nothing, that's what. That's good. A lot of these are good. I wish I wasn't going to lose them when I left Eventide. <laughs> Crab party! Crab rave! <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just do one of these. Great, okay. Let's do a little healy heal. Great. All right. Let the battle begin. Great work, team. All right. You know what they say, if first you don't succeed, last you do eyes again. Ooh, got him. Right in the ankle. That's got a smart, am I right? Hey, big man. I need you to look this way. Thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, shoot. All right, what's my heaviest hitting thing right now? Sure. Oh, nope. Hold on. All right. Did we get him? Is he dead? What's his health bar doing? The root protection is now ready to roll. Oh god. You can't see me, I'm invisible. God, this thing's terrifying me fast. Hey. Nope, forget this. We need the high ground again. That's okay. One more Abosis Fury ought to do it. Oh, cool. A vulnerable wall. I'll deal with that later, probably.
Hey, big man, you need to come over here. No. Attack up food. No wonder that was difficult. Oh well. I guess the important thing is that we had fun making it. Alright, and now we figure out where that one. Hold on, let's just check the map. Zoom all the way in. Where's the little islandy thing? I think it's up there. Okay, so just like right. Yeah, we can do that. How hard could that be? No, thank you, sirs. Not today, Satan. Or <laughs> Satan's associate. might need to cryonis this a little bit to get it close enough to, to yuck it, but I think we can do it. Whew! Oh, boy. Be nice to get my pants back. And then, when we hit 3k, we're gonna try and do the um, one-hit obliterator trial on the Great Plateau. Which is so fun. Just the funnest. It's actually extremely cool. Uh, a lot of parts of the Champion's Ballad sort of just... Alright, you float, right? Yes, good. And we're going on a fun little adventure with my little orb. Uh, well. Yup! Great, take two. And now, yeet! No, no! Damn it, that's okay. That's why we have... Three Cryonis ruins. <laughs> All right, this time. Yeah. Oh, short. Sure. Close enough. <laughs> Link. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. So for those of you not in the know, this island is a f basically giant reference to the game Link's Awakening, um, which I haven't played. So I'm just going to be talking, you know, I I'm going to be splaining a little. Ah, thank you. Yay, now I have my stuff back. <laughs> That's good. If you kept Fee any longer, I think she was going to stab you. Okay. Anyway. Um, but yeah, as I understand it, Link's Awakening starts with, like, just Link on a raft, uh, caught in a storm, and, uh, so the raft gets struck by lightning, and he washes up on the shores of this strange little island. Um, and it turns out that the island isn't real. Uh, it's, like, it's the dream of the windfish, uh, this massive sort of celestial being thingy. Uh, that's being, like, plagued by nightmares, and you wake up the windfish, and it's like, thank you, and then Link escapes the dream, uh, and I think if you get the good ending, you sort of help one of the people who was in the dream escape, too, somehow, which is a little existentially questionable. Um, but yeah, uh, the windfish is also in Breath of the Wild, if you count the, is it the Gerudo Great Skeleton? I think it's the Gerudo Great Skeleton with the dumb little chicken wings on its back. Anyway, so this whole island is basically the exact same shape as the island in Link's Awakening, and uh, all the names of the things on the island are that. I think Koholint Rock is... I think the island is called Koholint. Uh, and this weird, funky mountain where the shrine appeared is where the egg in uh, Link's Awakening is. So it's just a fun little, like, reference, basically.
must have been fun when they were figuring out what to put in this game. Just like, what if we just did everything? Like, what if we just put in absolutely everything? Yeah, this is kind of similar to uh, that bit in Through the Looking Glass with the Red King's Dream. Um, another existentially terrifying concept. Honestly, that's it's such a specific niche use of the All a Dream plot. It's like the only good one, I think. Like, not to make such a hardline stance about a, you know, a subjective opinion, but like, the All a Dream ending is so frequently deeply disappointing that it feels like, oh nice, 300 bucks. It feels like the only way to make it worth it is to have that be the point, that like the characters are acknowledging the existential horror intrinsic and like this entire story and all these people that you thought mattered didn't actually, it was all a dream. Like, oof, that's an oof right there. Which is why the, um, the Justice League story slash episode of Justice League, the show, for the man who has everything, is really good, because, uh, that's basically the entire point, um, which is why I recommend it. Uh, it's also, I think, the only adaptation of an Alan Moore story that Alan Moore has actually said he liked, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, it also helps in Link's Awakening that Link is not the one dreaming. Link is a real person. Like, everyone else isn't, but Link is real. Uh, which is kind of neat. Which means, you know, you're only so worried about it. Oh, that's right. There's like a flight challenge thingy we can do here. But I don't want to, so we're not going to. Oh, how nice. The campsite's repopulated. Well, we can kill them all later. Let's see, we haven't hit 3k, so I don't yet need to start the Champion's Ballad, which is good, because that means instead... Oh, you know what we can do? Hold on. Gotta get dolled up for it first. But there's that lady in Gerudo Town who buys specific gems at better than market prices, and now that we've solved Rudania, she should actually buy our stuff. So let's go check it out. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, right, yeah. Destroy cannon. Yeah, we'll deal with it later. Calm down, it's fine. Zelda herself told me that I should do the DLC side quest. She's around here somewhere. I think she's in the inn? Or around it. Or at least she was before. Hmm. Let's see. Chad, help me out. Where is she? Uh... Alright, whatever. I'll just 
just run around. Until we hit 3k, I have no obligation to do anything else. Alright, where is she? Oh, yeah. Aha! I see her, I think. Hello! Mm -hmm. You want to buy amber? How much do I have? Uh, oh, girl, I have so much amber. Yeah, man, take them. I'll sell, take them. Woohoo! Great, all right. Let's see. Topaz, rubies, the only things I don't have 10 of are sapphires and uh, diamonds because I haven't any of them right now. Uh. Yeah, you can have 10 topazes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is going great. Do I still have 10 topazes? Then why did you give me the option? All right, whatever, whatever. Hey, have you, has your opinion changed yet? No. Sorry. Alright. Great. So worth it. Alright, where else were we going? Um I want guardian cores. Uh yes, yes, she's got very nice abs. Can everybody focus, please? Um Alright, we're gonna Yeah. Ah, well we could always retrieve our noble and loyal steed, Ganonhorf. And while we're doing that, we could always kill some guardians. Don't worry, it's normal when I do this. We can get the final memory, but like all that does is tie up the memories quest line. We've already gotten all the main ones. We're not about, okay guys, we're, we're gonna do Champion's Ballad DLC stuff before we go and kill Ganon. I'm taking my sweet time on this playthrough because I'm having a good time. Um, ooh, Dark Link set. You know, that reminds me. I don't think we ever went to find Kilton. So, uh, that can be a goal for after we start. So basically at 3k, we're going to go through the one-hit obliterator thing, which starts the Champion's Ballad DLC quest line. Um, all right. I hate to put the guns away, but, oh, right. I got to hit a rock with this or something so it'll start resetting. But yeah, we're not going to kill Ganon yet, as tempting as it would be. Oh, look at it, so beautiful in the daylight. Um, no, we're just going to go kill some guardians until we get two more guardian cores. Uh, little ones, just the regular ones. These little guys. Uh, if we get two more, we can upgrade the pants to the four-star rating, and then they'll be as tough as they can get, which is nice. Um... We're fine. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Right, yeah. So, uh, getting the last memory is fun because it's, it's like a pretty powerful moment. Um, but since we're just noodling around right now, uh, and all that does is basically be like, you've got the final memory, now you can really go and deck Ganon. Like, we don't need to do that. We already know we can go deck Ganon. He's got four lasers pointed at him. Look at this ridiculous armor I'm wearing. <laughs> I've never in my life gotten the Guardian armor set before this. Ganon is so decked. So we're just going to take a nice little stroll through the fields until we hit 3k, and then we go and take a different stroll through the dark fields. Ah, one thing we do need. Last time we did this, we went inside Hyrule Castle. Oh, you know what? We can take kind of a more circuitous route. Check out some of the things on the way that we haven't done before. Oh wait, 
are we really close? Oh, we're real close. Ugh, are we past most of them? No, there's two up there by the uh, fountain thingy. Oh, we'll deal with those in a minute. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta hit something with the sword so that it'll reset. I wonder if it just works on like busted stuff. I'm sorry, little guy. I just needed to make my sword break. Ah, good. Phew! Thank goodness. All right, now that's gotta reset. How long do we need to wait for that? Uh, oh yeah, ten minutes. We're fine. We can do a little exploring before then. We got some guardian weapons if we need to kill anything before that. Oh, I forgot. I still need to get an electric darner for that side quest. Hmm. Ah, see? There's the little guy. Nice to figure out how to kill one of these things. Oh, see, there are so many guys now. Now that I can't kill them yet. Hmm. Well, when that one comes by again, we can see if a bomb arrow will work. Because I think I've heard that you can use bomb arrows to knock out their propellers. That's pretty nice. Oh, this one's going to break. It's okay. So pretty. Look at that. Oh. You know, it's nice that Link's body language changes when he's in combat, because that's a nice sign to me that it's like, oh, whoops, I'm getting targeted by something. Oh yeah, design dog. Uh, we were talking about the new Tears of the Kingdom mechanics we saw earlier today, which was extremely exciting. That fusion mechanic looks ripe for abuse. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, for the person asking, there are 120 shrines in the game, but we're not doing all of them, because that uh, makes the game not fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. Ah. Whoop! Went a little wide. Uh oh I've been spotted. Twice. Well, jury's still out on whether or not knocking out the, pro the propellers works. Hey, come back. I want to see what happens. Ugh, we'll deal with it later, I guess. Alright, how long do we got on the Master Sword? Okay, fine. Well, while we wait... Let's see, that one looks killable, right? I don't really see anything else around. Be very, very quiet. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thanks, Urbosa. <gasps> core! Oh, giant core. Great. All right, we only need one more core. Oh, for crying out loud. Bro, take a hint. Oops. Oh no, my Guardian Plus sword. I accidentally chopped down a tree with it. Tragic. That's okay. There's more where that came from, baby. Anyway. Let's do a little exploring. Ooh, hello. What's up here? Hey, nice. See, the game's rewarding me for trying things. 
Oh man, I'm so excited for the homing arrows. When I saw that in the trailer, I lost it. Like, f uh, the double whammy of, like, finally a way to make the archery mechanic, like, really user-friendly, and finally an actual use for specific monster parts. Just genius. I love it. It really seems like they heard that people were like, hey, it would be nice to be able to, like, craft... Like, if we're gonna have weapon durability, it would be nice to be able to craft replacements or something, and they were like, how can we execute this in the most bonkers way possible? <laughs> I've seen a few people being like, oh, this isn't the first game that's had, like, a like a sort of free building creation mechanic, and it's... What the fuck? I'm sorry, were you guys seeing that, like, particle effect that was coming off that roof? Hold on. Anyway, I've seen people be like, other game, you know, Dead or Alive had the duct tape mechanic back in 20, you know, t 10 years ago. And it's like, look me in the eyes and tell me you could use that to build a fucking car. All right. All right, here we go. You see, it's like, it's like green rock particle effect, but it looks kind of bubbly. You see what I'm talking about? It's weird. I like it. It's cute. What's going on? Okay, we're good. Oh, okay, well, let me cling to the top. Fine, whatever. Ugh, whatever. Let's go kill something else. Is it not dead or alive? Uh, whatever. I don't know. It was a comment section that I wasn't looking at too closely. Dead rising! That makes more sense. Sorry, I forgot Dead or Alive was the one with the extreme beach volleyball, as opposed to Dead Rising. Hmm. Killing that one might be tough with a with the sentry watching. But that's okay. That problem is solvable. Problem is solvable. Problem is solvable. Problem is solvable. See, we're good. Alright, now be very, very quiet. We'll figure it out in a second. Good. All right. Watch out, he's right behind you. Uh oh, did I just lose my meat shield? I just lost my meat shield. That's okay. Hey, friend. All right. That one's all me. No Daruk, baby. Oh, hold on. Let's get the spear out. Oh, gotta wait for my animation to finish. Nice. Alright, what do you got for me, big boy? Ah. Uh, still only four cores. That's okay. We can wait. do for a blood moon, actually. In which case, we wouldn't need to wait very long at all. How helpful. Bro, are you serious? Alright, thanks. I gotta drop these off with Hestu. Uh, well, let's see. Let's just let's get Revali to reset, too. Red been to the no cell shading area? Well, now I'm curious. What's the no cell shading area? Ah, no bits. How sad. Oh, yeah, we gotta find Ganonhor. Ah, he's down there somewhere.
enjoy your peace while you can, Ganondorf. It's a place on the bridge where Link looks like plastic. Bridge of Hylia? Oh, hold on. What was that I said about not needing to wait very long? It was prescient. Hey, big man. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'll tell you where you should be going. To hell. Hello, it's me. It's the hero. Hello. Ganon's most wanted. Hi. Seventeenth times the charm. Oh, he's still alive. Just kidding. Nineteenth times the charm. Oh, you're so dramatic. All right, how are we looking? <gasps> yes, we did it. Great work, team. Let's go to the Great Fairy. Uh, where's a good one? Well, let's go to the one by Terry Town. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to be an unstoppable tank in this thing. This is going to be great. Hello, great fairy. Hello, it's me. So peaceful. Oh, nice. Thanks, Master Sword. <laughs> Hello, Great Fairy. You come here again? Let me see your clothes. Oh. I can enhance your clothing to the max. Gnarly. Oh, suit. Oh, yeah, because I did a bunch more killing stuff. That could be fun. Nah. I mean, it would be good to upgrade the pants, actually. Uh, well, let's just upgrade everything. Why not? Ooh. Yes, please. Oh, no. I forgot about this. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! Alright, nope. We don't need to see that. It's fine. Link's fine. They played bingo or something. <laughs> see? He's cool. <laughs> it's just a little dead. It's fine. Great. Now these mm. regular pants are extra enhanced regular pants. Oh, we can also get the Flamebreaker helm. Oh, yeah, because of all those lizards I got. Nice. That's a good start, at least. Huh. Huh. Aw, how innocent. Nice. Oh. Oh, no. Damn it! Okay, thank you. I think that's probably the last we'll have to hear about set bonuses. Aw, <laughs> how cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they were already upgraded. Forgot about that. Huh. Yes? Great. Awesome. Yes, yes, there they are. Ooh. So beautiful, so powerful. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. 
He's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, awesome. Oh. That's what I wanted. Oh no, that's a shame. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, great fairy. <laughs> Later. Great. Awesome, we got the pants. How much armor do I have right now? Ye gods, 84. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's see. Let's see what other fun EX side quests we got. Oh, God damn it! We're not doing the trial of the sword. Okay, masks, very close. Oh, yeah, shady customer. That could be good. Let's see, it's coming up on the PM hours. We can go to Skull Lake and see if we can find Kilton. Yeah. I'll just switch to a less ridiculous weapon. <laughs> like this magical flaming sword. I love that they have just the Wii Divine Beast. That's so cute. Great. Okay. Now we gotta find Kilton. Ah! Welcome, one and all. To meet everyone's favorite Hylian Crypto Bro. Alright, let's talk to him. Hello. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, yeah, I got it. Hmm. Oh, it's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me. My name is Kilton. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening a monster shop. You wanted to see it for yourself. Monster shop. Yes, I'm opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone. I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Hmm. Here's my business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. I'm gonna need that card back. It's the only one I have. Oh. Anyway, do you, uh, are you into monsters? All right, guys. Do we like monsters or hate them? So many possibilities. I think we like monsters. How, uh, how, how much do you like them? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I love monsters more than you do! Hey, <laughs> uh, sorry. I did it again. Hey, bud. We've all been there. I've info dumped a few people once or twice in my life. I just love the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I travel all around Hyrule in search of rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit yet. Kakariko Village or Hateno Village. The Rito Village and Zora's Domain are also good options. Hmm. I suppose I could go all the way to Gerudo Town or Lowerland Village, but Lake Akala is much closer. <laughs> I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself. I can't just sit around while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off! I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during the night. Fare thee well! Oh. And just like that, he's gone. Whoa! Great, that was fun. Let's go report back to that guy who wanted to know about the weird guy. Alright, let's go find Haas. I don't know if we found Luralin Village yet. Sorry, 
I went back to see the the take on how much do we like monsters. You guys really like monsters, huh? Alright, where's Haas? Hey, Haas. Is that you jogging into that wall? Yes, it is. Hello. Mm -hmm. You got information about Kilton? Allow me to take a look. <laughs> I see. How strange. Ah, oh, hey, nice. Great. <gasps> Beetle! My boy Beetle! Beetle, what are you? Oh, he's gotta be tallying up his, like, earnings for the day. That makes sense. Or it's his diary. Hey, Beetle, let's talk. Yeah! I knew I'd see you again. I think that technically makes you my stalker. Beetle, no! <laughs> what happened to being married in a previous life? <laughs> what have you got, Beetle? Arrows? Hell yeah. Oh, Chica Slate's looking a little funky there. What's going on? <laughs> Zelda, do I need to be worried? Link, hold Ooh. down the power and home button at the same time for 10 seconds. Alright, let's see. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. Now that we've got a designated lady who buys stuff, I don't think we need to sell them to Beetle. Gems, at least. <laughs> oh, now the slate's okay. Ish. Just vibrating slightly. Okay, let's leave that alone. Okay, well, that was fun. What other side quests do we got? Uh. Oh, okay. We still haven't found all the stone monuments, but that's okay. That one's annoying anyway. Unmasked. Ugh. No, thank you. <sighs> yeah, absolutely not. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're sitting at 2.7k. Which is quite respectable for ooh, spooky. For good cause. I have it set that three K we go and do the beginning of the Champions Battle DLC quest. But I'll be completely honest. Might just go and do that anyway. We just haven't found it this run. Or... Huh. Hmm. Nah, I'll deal with it later. Ah. So, we have not checked out the Master Trial. Uh because it's annoying. <laughs> um, almost everything else in the game will, like... Like, if you die, it'll just kind of pop you out somewhere else and be like, okay, cool, don't do that again. Uh, Master Trials? Like... Huh! Sorry. If you die, it basically pretends it never happened. Um, it kind of just... <laughs> it, like... It just resets you. You have to, like, reload a save, which means, like, canonically it never happened. You haven't started the trial yet, and I don't know how I feel about that. It just feels weird. Oh, Jesus. Hello. What the? Are we being chased by a Korok? Oh, hello. Thanks, little buddy. Uh, don't look behind you. Just just don't worry, I got it. Later. Uh, okay, whatever. Hmm. 
Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thanks, bud. All right, let's see. We are very slowly heading in the direction of the Great Plateau, but let's be real. We're probably just going to warp there when the time comes. Still, good journey. So I've never completed even one stage of the Master Trials. Uh, how many levels are in the first one? Because I got kind of disheartened dying late in the game. Fifteen. Hmm. I think I might have gotten pretty close at one point then. Huh, look at that. So I haven't set a goal for the Master Trials because they annoy me. Uh, it wouldn't be a goal for finishing them. It would be a goal for giving them a shot. Uh, 3k we have set for starting the Champion's Ballad, which is doing the one-hit obliterator quest line. Oh, thank you. Sorry, fellas. Uh, the one-hit obliterator quest line on the Great Plateau, which is pretty fun. Oh, damn it. All right, never mind. I feel bad for that guy now. Wow. Heck yeah. All right, anyway, moving on. Ooh, hello. This looks like an easy Korok puzzle. Sir, I am trying to enjoy this video game. So where's the other rock? It's hiding. <laughs> this is so chaotic. Maybe 4k we at least start the Master Sword Trials just to see what happens. Oh, found Kilton. bone on the open at night. Ah, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business, seeing as how you're a first-time customer here at Fang and Bone. Our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. What is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Just kidding, there is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into money. <laughs> Here's the deal. If you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. Let's exchange the monster parts you have for Mon. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for Mon? Oh, boy. Huh, it's cute. Well, I've done a lot of the upgrading. Oh, this is stupid. This is stupid. Here, take 51 of them. Kilton is basically just a crypto bro. It's going to be rough for Zelda to have to uh, someday reestablish the currency and, you know, internal logistics of Hyrule. I guess currency is holding strong, but, you know, she is kind of going to have to be the entire government. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
we're fine. Let's see what we can buy with this. Hmm. Let's spend some more. <laughs> oh boy, what do you got? Uh huh, uh huh. The ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it the Dark Series. Wear this and you will become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Yes, and when night falls, you might just be able to move a little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Yeah! So, if we want the Dark Link set, and I think we do, um, let's start with the Dark Tunic. Yeah, okay, so we basically need to get 3,000 mon to get the rest of it. That's okay. Okay. Huh. Mm. Huh. Oh yeah, he'll buy guardian parts for a, a pittance. Yeah, absolutely not, obviously. <laughs> Creeping our way up. I suppose we can always get more of these by just killing stuff. <laughs> oh, Kilton. What a strange little creature you are. I think once we get the Master Cycle, and we're gonna get the Master Cycle... There's something about, like, buying, like, monster elixirs from Kilton is, like, actually the most efficient way to, uh, recharge the Master Cycle when it runs out of fuel. It's pretty good. Okay. probably sell more of these honestly it's just you know sometimes it's good to use things for elixirs and you know sometimes like they get used in upgrades for armor sets oh, I don't want to burn ancient parts refueling the master cycle that's a bummer although I suppose after a while they sort of run out of use okay yeah just take some cobbling fans just take like 30 of them it's fine Mm-hmm. Okay. It just feels weird having to save up to get something from friggin' Kilton. But I am happy to support his business adventures, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Link is gonna get a motorcycle once we start and finish the Champion's Ballad quest line. Which we will start once we raise 3k, which we're quite close to. It looks like we're past 2.9. Alright, we're getting there. Uh, that won't give us very much. Eh, why not? I basically never use elixirs anyway. 
Okay, all right, there we go. We're ready to go. All right. Let's get the hood. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And the pants. Let's go. Perfect. Fantastic. All right. Let's put it on, show it off. Where's it hiding? There it is. Spooky. It's cool, right? Hey, it's nighttime. Perfect. And our night speed up is really... God, this looks stupid. <laughs> this is drowling. <laughs> I wonder if you can dye the dark outfit. I guess we could check that out the next time we're around Tateno. I think that the Dark Link fight was so cool, and I, I think I'm kind of glad that the rest of the games didn't just sort of try and replicate its success. Because that's a thing a lot of games do, you know, it's like, oh, or just a lot of franchises. Like, everybody loved it when we did this one thing, so we should do it always, forever. Um, and, uh, it's just kind of good that, like, they didn't do that with a lot of the iconic boss fights in the, in the Zelda games. It's like, oh, that was so cool. But, like, we don't need to put it in every game. So Dark Link is in a couple of them. But, you know, I find that, you know, if, if you're gonna have, like, the hero fights their dark reflection, it kind of helps for that hero to have, like, a personality to have a dark reflection of. <laughs> And as much as I love Link, he's a blank slate most games. So, you know, Dark Reflection mirror matches tend to be more of a thing for, you know, troubled heroes with dark pasts and edgy impulses and stuff like that. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get back to the regular outfit. Or, you know, the... Yeah. Oh, someday I gotta upgrade the climbing shirt so it actually gives me a little bit more armor. Still not bad, though. But yeah, like, Link isn't completely a blank slate. He's just, you know, mostly a blank. He's kind of just generically heroic in most games, where it's like, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy who just wants to do the right thing and, and help people and save the day. And it's like, that's a personality. It's just kind of, you know, the expected personality. <laughs> uh... Which is why half the fun of Twilight Princess is that when he's stuck as a wolf, he shows a ton of personality, and most of it is just really annoyed with everything that's happening to him. Ooh, a shrine. Can you die in the Dark Link outfit? Oh, they have Shadow Links and Hyrule Warriors. Great. <laughs> right when I was praising them for not overusing the concept. <laughs> Is it in this thing? I'm so confused. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, I hated this shrine. Okay, hold on. I got this. I actually know what I'm doing this time. Good. I think we're ready. So, for a while, this section was in the completely, permanently raining Zora's domain, making it practically impossible to finagle a bomb up there. When you have bomb arrows, it's easy. Ooh, 3k! Great! Alright, we're gonna do the shrine real quick, and then we're gonna go to the Great Plateau. <laughs> I knew a 
blessing shrine was too much to hope for. Oh, goody. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, what do we think? Oh, modest? All right, great. I don't think we even need to change paints for this. Hmm. Well, it's gonna break in a couple hits anyway. May as well. Expected. Well, and uh, ow. All right, we're fine. Yep, yep. Get it out of your system, bud. You. Nice. Great. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And then the, uh, I guess the 4K goal, theoretically speaking, is giving it, taking a crack at the Master Trials. And that, well, hmm, we did start this stream later, but I am trying to take a little bit easy been a very tiring couple weeks and uh you might i don't know if you could hear um i've had a slightly sore throat for a few days i checked it's definitely not the plague but uh it might be allergies being that spring is springing and there are things in the air that i'm allergic to now um so giving my voice a break might be good anyway uh but yeah, we'll see how this goes. If we uh, if we hit 4K before I feel like winding things down, we'll take a crack at the Master Trials and then I think call it a day as soon as I die. <laughs> oh, got a smile. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go to the Great Plateau. And then, actually, I think before we grab the, um, it's not going to do us any good for this, but, uh, when we, uh, go to the Great Plateau, I think we're going to hit the Temple of Time. Yeah. Uh, just real quick. Uh, yeah. We're going to hit the Temple of Time, turn in some of these Sporbs for hearts, because then we'll be able to use those later. You know, we can always use more of those. It helps to go into the Master Trials if you're really, really tanky. They won't help us at all for the um, one-hit obliterator test, of course, but that's okay. Yep, okay. Deal with you in a second, bud. Don't worry. There we go. Ah, oh, boy, this takes me back. Wow, look at them lasers. Okay, Temple of Time. It's Temple of Time time. It's Temple Time. Time for Temple. Oh, uh, yeah, the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison signs are simply for Cusco. Cusco poison. Temple of Time. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Getting really wanted into this place, huh? My guess is they didn't know where the Shrine of Resurrection was. Oops. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to absolutely murder you. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's, uh, yeah, while we're on the Great Plateau, let's switch back to something else. 
something nice and light and uh, peaceful. Anyway. But yeah, because I think, you know, we'll, we'll go back to the Shrine of Resurrection from the outside, and I think it's almost completely obscured in rock, which is pretty cool. Heart <coughs> container, thank you. I'm about to waste it. <coughs> So pleasing. Great. Anyway, back to the Shrine of Resurrection. Through the window. But yeah, it's like very plateau, you know, it's this overgrown, kind of ruined area that clearly had a sacred purpose. You know, a little promenade leading up to it, stuff like that. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Sorry, fellas. Didn't mean to intrude on afternoon tea. Just trying to mind my biz. Boy, you guys are persistent. All right, let's do a little killing. Come on. Oh, thanks, Darube. Okay. That frees up a hand for what comes next. That's, you know, there's all these nice little overgrown stone steps. It's very pretty. What a nice little lookout point. And then the Shrine of Resurrection is hidden in this completely innocuous cliff. Like, you wouldn't even think to look there. So I firmly believe that Ganon really wanted in and just couldn't figure out where. Oh, the lighting is a little confused back there. Anyway, let's go! Wait. Is that the- oh, hold on, the terminal I got it from. I remember. I remember. Oh, hold on, I forgot about this. Slightly poor taste, my friend. Yeah. Oh, you don't even need to be resurrected. What if somebody needs it? What if somebody is me? We talking about spuds? You guys know what to do. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh boy. Associated locations have been marked on map. Mm-hmm. That thing looks harmless. Take hold of the provided weapon to begin your free trial. This thing seems safe. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> this thing looks good and fine. Oh boy, it really chews through that, doesn't it? <laughs> I am Maz Koshi, and I trust one versus the master divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as its wielder will also fall to a single strike. You can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it is glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen, along with its power. At the four marked locations within the Great Plateau, Defeat all monsters present to prove your power. If you are not up to the challenge, leave this plateau. The weapon will return here. The trial will end. 
One hit obliterator. <laughs> Infinity attack. Fantastic. I feel like this trial is the only reason that this game doesn't have like a, a really annoying beep beep when your hearts are low. Because <laughs> you'd just be suffering through that the entire time. I love that the shrine aesthetic now extends outside of the shrine as a result of this. Alright, let's scope out the sitch, babies. What do we got? I wonder if we can kill the talus with this thing. I wonder if Mazkosha would give us extra credit if we did that. Oh, hold on. While we're doing this... The ability to see things health bars will be very helpful. Oh, sweet. Bird's eggs. Hmm. Where are the bad guys? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, come on, bud. Whoop. It needs to recharge. Oh god. Is that keys I hear? Where are you, you bastards? Oh no, Link! Oh, thank god. Okay. The shield worked somehow. Come on, guys. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Recharge, buddy. Recharge faster. Recharge faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God, the tension. I'm not even getting anything good out of this. Okay, who's left? At least you <laughs> Scary. Okay, one hit obliterator. Are you still good? Still good. Who's left? Oh, I see. I think I accidentally lured everything out of this camp. Ah! I'm sensing a presence. It's all about timing. Patience. Stealth. And the element of surprise! <laughs> he went flying. Are we good? Is that it? No, why would that be it? Of course not. Uh, hello? Well, that didn't help. Ah! Yes, I remember this. Okay. The tricky part here is not getting stabbed. Hello? <laughs> there he goes! Oh yeah, it's a tall boy. Still 
stealth set? I never bought the stealth set, so we don't have the stealth set. Nikki. Yo, nice! Aw, oh, beans. Oh yeah, can I use a bow with this thing on? I wonder what happens if I heal. I think the one hit obliterator probably just killed me about it. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. What do we got? Let's find out. I wonder if it resets my shrine progress if I die. I don't remember. Because I, I think... I don't want to jinx this, but the first time I did this, I did it in one go, so I didn't die at all during it. So I don't know if it resets your progress. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. And so begins the habit of the shrines for the DLC being way harder and kind of more annoying. Well, I guess let's find out what happens. Yeah, well, whose fault is that? Oh, thank God. Okay. Phew. All right, cool. That's much less annoying. I mean, it's still annoying, but it's less annoying. This time, let's, I guess, hope that doesn't happen again. Let's chase it down. What are the odds of them sending two at once? How, what it? Oh, I see. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. I love this. I was soon to be proven wrong, however. Alright, we need a big boy. But not too big. We need a moderately sized boy. Nope. Oh, I see. The problem. We also need to catch the boy. You, moderately sized boy. Are you functional? No. Great. But that was probably on my, my fault, so. Good, good. Uh huh. Easy, easy. Careful. <laughs> okay, this better be useful. I'm gonna be mad. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Okay, and now the extraction. I know there's an extra one. We're not doing that one. It's annoying. Oh wait, was this the extra one? Damn it! This was the extra one. Fine. I guess we did the extra one. And then we have to go back and do the annoying one. Alright, what is it? Oh, thanks. Sh shame, you know, I already have one. Alright, let's see. Let's get the little bitty one and then not get friggin... Are they sending the functional ones to here too, or is it just the other way? Let's see. Uh, looks like no. That would be too easy. Alright, I need a small ball. Ah! Whatever. This shrine is stupid. Okay. Now we're gonna very carefully, very, very carefully, nudge this bad boy over. it? Is that the problem? Do I have to run with it? That might be the move. I don't know if I can get it that far. Yeah, I think we gotta... 
Alright, careful. Careful, careful, doctor. Okay. No, damn it. How do I? Oh, no! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this game is stupid. complete. Excellent work, Snake. Okay. Now if we die, I might might cry a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, just for fun. Alright. Gotta get the spiked balls out of its system. Let's hide in this corner real quick. Woo! 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 Serpentine! Attack pattern alpha. Hacha! Yeah! Oh! Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Hello, this better be fucking worth it. Thank you. You can magnesis the spike balls, but you can't do that and carry the orb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just give it to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Too bad it can't heal me, because I've got this friggin' vampire chained to my wrist. Okay. Oh, the spike balls don't respawn. That's nice. Would have been good to know, but that's okay. That's my own fault for not checking. All right. Let's see. Eastern Abbey? Yeah, why not? Let's just do this in order. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take some arrows. Thank you. And I'll take some food, even though it will do me absolutely no good. Uh, no, thank you, sir. So not part of my trial, actually. Bye. Uh-uh. You especially. No, 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 no. Ooh. Heck yeah, I'll take Hyrule Herbs. Good herbs. Okay. Now let's survey the terrain. Well, we're very far away from the terrain, so let's get closer and then let's survey the terrain. Hmm. I'm sensing a presence. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Well, now we test if saving works. It does! Oh, that's lovely. How generous. Speedy boy, speedy boy. There's Rivali's Gale when you need it. That's okay. We appear to have scared them off. Or something. Great. Okay. One down. 83 to go. I understand that stealth might be considered the ideal approach in this scenario, but consider, I don't want to. Hey, 
big fella. Oh, hold on. Let's switch to a slightly stealthier kind of arrow. Thank you. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, man. Headshots are nothing to sneeze at. Where'd everybody else go? Ah, I see him. Ah, hold on. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that one's gonna be fun. That's okay, we'll deal with that later. Hey, turn this way again. Come on. Let me see that pretty smile. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it must have been the wind. Must have, must have, must have been the wind. Must have been the wind, guys. Don't worry about it. It was the wind. That was the wind, probably. Great. Where are you hiding, buddy? Where are you at? Pal. <laughs> All right. Now, let's just be really cautious. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad, big man. I was doing that even without the one hit obliterator. spotted me. That's just real quick save. <laughs> Great. Anyway, back to business. Coming on, big man. Oh, you know what we could do? Oops. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, got a little spooked. Ah! Oh, he got me. Oh, tragic. Hope it's 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 working on it. That's okay. We'll live. There, see? See how nice and chill that is. Now let's see what this does. does. I think I want to push the boulder. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would do more. Oh, boy. Yeah, come on. Come at me, bro. Oh no! Phew! Alright, we're good. Ooh, topaz. Heck yeah. I'm guessing we get to keep what we get after this one. Alright. Whoopsies. Oh boy, oh boy. Whew, that's gonna be bad. Oh boy. Right. Just real quick save again. We're not gonna indulge in the noble art of saves coming too much, but you know, you know how it is. Oh, I must have been the wind, I guess. All right, have fun partying with yourself. I almost feel bad now. That's okay, don't worry, little man. <laughs> Devastating. Oh, hey, that was it. Nice. Okay. Oh, there better not be any annoying puzzles in this shrine. That would be just awful. Yeah. Nope, it was 
skippy skip. No time for that. Let me in. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think I remember this one. Oh no, just kidding. Oh damn it! Fuck, I hate this one. There's a fun one. But this one's really annoying. Okay. There's a really, there's just a, there's a part after this that's so awful. Well, I guess one thing at a time. Deal with the current awfulness first. <sighs> Whoa, easy. Easy, buddy. Uh -huh. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Alright, is there anything... Well, let me save. Good. See if that helps. It doesn't always. Shit! God damn it. I hate this shrine so much. <laughs> Okay, great. Save scumming will not avail you. At least this part is less perilous, it's just annoying. Like, it's theoretically perilous, but in practice, I don't think this is like they're actually you off. What the fuck is that? Oh, I see. <laughs> it was like stuck under the thing I was on so Magnesis wouldn't let me use it just in case I was making a hovercraft. This is good. Alright, is there anything I can do about these? Oh, looks like a maybe. Yes! Oh! Oh, okay, cool. I can get one of them, but not the others. Because why would I be able to do that? <sighs> oh, God. Okay. What next? Are we good? You ass. No, of course not. Oh, god damn it. Uh -huh. this happen. Okay. <laughs> Good God. 
your resourcefulness. <laughs> Link needed to bring the brown pants to this one, and you're giving me spores! <laughs> God, that was awful. Well, at least it can't get any worse, am I right? <laughs> You know, it's almost like Mazkosha doesn't want me to succeed. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys, though. Trapped in this, like, eternal purgatory for a DLC quest line I may or may not do. I guess that's true of all the shrines, but, like, it's gotta be rough, right? Oh! Uh... How unexpected to see a traveler on the sol solitary plateau. Oh. Ah, we meet again. Hmm? Not to be rude, but you don't look so well. I know, thanks. Much like this plateau, you're looking a mite dreary. Thanks, oh. bud. Perhaps it's not my place to say as much. I understand more than most the burden of travel. Oh, yeah. I'm just jet lagged all the hell. An ancient song. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Oh. Please open your ears and your heart to my song. Oh, hey, it's the main theme. He said it. He said it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wonder. Rumble, rumble. Honestly, I haven't a clue. Mm. All right, later's Cass. All right, hold on. Let's let's save real quick. Let's see where we gotta go. Oh. Easy. So you hear that, folks? We're getting our own divine beast. A beast. What the hell just happened? Something just ran into the spikes and exploded. Soothing, so peaceful. Such a weird ass effect on the sky. I feel like you're not supposed to look straight up when this is happening. Alright, what do we got? Oh boy. Well, let's see if taking the high ground helps. Okay. Uh, don't worry, you got a statue. I'll be back for you in a second. Be kind of funny if I went in, got the extra heart, and immediately lost it. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's okay. That's what sniping is for. Ooh, I really expected that to do more. You saw nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm bullying him. Oh no, he spotted me. Oh no, so is the other one. Oh boy, okay. It's time to skedaddle. Don't worry, folks, I'll be back for you in a minute. I'm just not at my best right now, you know. Anyone come up here? Anybody looking for a wallopin?
Oh, it's nice of them to autosave. I wonder why. Oh, hold on. I've got better arrows, right? Oh, yeah. Like, so many. Well, I mean, who could resist? Let's see. Eh, no, this is the one that's got the best aim. Whoops. Hey, stop moving. It's cheating. Oh, no. Well, that's okay. What else can we hit? Whoops. I froze the horse out from under him. That's interesting. Oh, this is working great. <laughs> Ooh, you know what would be fun? Hold on, let's save real quick. I'm not trying to indulge in the noble art of saves coming, but there's a free horse just sitting around over there. Hello, little friend. Yeah! Great, thanks for not running us into the spikes immediately, my good buddy. Let's, uh, let's just navigate very carefully out of the death zone so I don't die. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. Alright, we're just going to ride around in circles until the one hit obliterator. Yay, okay, great, great. It's all coming together. Hold on a second. Whoops. Oh no. Oh no, my horse! No, my horse! I'm so sorry! Oh god, it's happening. Oh, I got yoked by a Korok leaf. That's fun. Well, I didn't mean to one-hit obliterate my horse. Hey. Well, it was a stall horse. It'll come back anyway. It's fine. I don't think Manyanga the Horse God's gonna be mad at me for that one. Alright, who's left? Who's that friendly fella? Oh, and that guy. Very rude fella. Yeah, see? They're rewarding my gameplay style. <laughs> there he is. I feel bad about this, but not that bad. Oh god. Something just armed up a bomb arrow. What's left? Oh. Okay, I see him. That's okay. We'll be sneaky. We'll be stealthy. Then we'll use bullet time to destroy him. Alright, are we good? Yeah! Phew! I'm sure this one won't be a nightmare. I mean, the last two were, but like, they had to run out of ideas eventually, right? that sort of thing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Eat? I don't think you understand the purpose of this chat, of this quest. Um, if, uh, for those of you just joining us, um, uh, this is the one-hit obliterator, uh, sub-quest. It's basically, it's the beginning of the Champion's Ballad DLC quest line. Uh, and the first thing you have to do is traipse through the Great Plateau, with a weapon called the One-Hit Obliterator that can destroy anything in one hit twice per charge, and then it takes a little while to recharge. Uh, oh yes, it's this one. Huzzah. 
Um, but as a consequence, you go down in one hit. You have a quarter of a heart. So this one's funny. Because it's like, I have the one hit obliterator. Like, what's, what's even gonna happen? I just need to hit him once. And not get hit. Eileen Shields for baby. Oh, easy. There we go. Alright, let's see. I do want some of those guardian weapons, so let's drop this useless thing and let's see what we can get. That would be nice to have a good shield. Yeah, I could use that. Oh, how how chill and calm and fun. And I guess we could drop one of these Lionel shields. Okay, now let's go get my reward and my sporb. And, uh, what's this? Where's the monk? How strange this is. Aw, oh, thanks. And what's this mysterious button where the monk would normally be? Interesting. Great. All right, let's go get uh, those guardian bits I forgot to grab. And then let's go down the spooky hole. I thought this would be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it's actually difficult, difficult lemon difficult. All right. Ah. I'm sensing a presence. I wonder. Can I just like the game a little bit? knows what perils await me. I know. Hello, friend. Sorry. The knockback on this thing makes it just so cartoonish. Recharge, recharge, recharge. Thank you. Looks like no. Hello. Thank you. Oh god, what's what's targeting me? And from where? There's something above me. Behind. To the left. Oh, take it back now, y'all. shield. Whoa, why are you so fast and skittery? Thank you. Nice. Okay. What do we got? Alright. Just gotta watch your six. Yes, I remember this. <laughs> yep. Well, there's a thing I can do here. As much as I love the Hylian shield. Come on. Woo! Come on, buddy. All right, another 40 or so of those, and they ought to get the picture. All right. Lefty Magoo will go down much easier, and then I can actually get closer to it. 
Now it's just a war of attrition. <clears throat> okay, good. Now we're getting both of them. So, how's everyone's day has been? Oh yeah, now's a good time to hydrate. Always very important. Remember to do so. You know, it's really not a Zelda game without a good old game of, uh -oh, of uh, energy ball tennis. Fine. That's cool. We're good. Oh, where's my bow? Oh, that's right, it broke. Alright. That's okay. Careful. <laughs> Alright. And you, my little friend, you will also feel my wrath. I just nudge myself out of cover. Perfect. Okay, who's left? Who's the little guy? Is he just in the front? Oh, why did that not work? Oh, I see. I think they're detonating on my ice block. Okay, now there's only one left. This I think we can serpentine. <laughs> on nothing. I'm invisible. I'm super stealthy. I'm the stealthiest boy. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Can I come in now? Thank you. Oh, these bits went everywhere. That's okay. I'll click with left. Hello. Great. Triumph over the test of strength subverts prophecy of ruin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the sporb. All right. One left, folks. We can do this. It is now looking rather unlikely that we will hit 4K before I'm done and therefore force me to also try the master trials. <laughs> Ugh, boy. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't need the shield anyway. There's more where that came from. Once we get through this, we'll open up a whole world of other shrines and fun side quests we can do, which I think will be very exciting. Because the last time we did this, I chased down every single one of those as soon as I found them. Um, and, uh, oh man. It was very cool, but I think it'll be very cool also just running into them organically, like, as the story progresses. Oh, damn it, now we have to get up Mount Hylia. Oh, you know what we can do, though? Nobody said we couldn't warp shrines. So... Let's put on our cold weather pants and our cold weather hat and let's warp, baby. Yeah, I could try the Master Trials next time. Or maybe I'll have thought of something else fun to do. But yeah, we are approaching the part of the game where I start running out of ideas because I've exhausted most of the really fun things I already wanted to do and was working up towards. Just in time for Tears of the Kingdom to come out! Woohoo! Alright, Link, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Good. Good. Because that would be really bad. Because <laughs> if we take the slightest bit of damage, you explode! Oh, okay. Let's see. Ah, the other side of Mount Hylia. How exciting. I've always wanted an excuse to climb every mountain, ford every river. Is that? Ah, oh, it's Vala Boris. She's looking radiant in the dark. <laughs> Boyfriend class. Yes, I suppose we could check out Boyfriend class in Gerudo Town. Oop. Oh. oh, it's just a bird. I thought it was a dragon. How silly of me. Okay. Oh, yeah. I recall 
recall this one being almost relaxing after the last few, but I might be hideously wrong about that. It's been a while, and I might have just been glad that it was done. Check out King Rome's grave again, I think. Just get a nice little look at it. Yep, there it is. Wow, so charming. Uh oh. Ah, boy. That's a bunch of things, isn't it? Hmm. What to do first? Oh, what kind of arrows do we have? Ooh, how exciting. Alright, I need that wizard to hold still. Or... Yes, investigate, you fools. I suppose I could be one hit obliterating these guys. But honestly, a lot of the time, this is easier. <laughs> She's just gone. Okay. And let's just get rid of that thing first, too. Okay. Let's see. Now it's just the moblins and the ice keys, which are annoying. I wonder... Aw, oh, it went through him. That's a shame. Okay. That's alright, I'll deal with him later. We can't always just save. Which we should probably do right now, actually. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, now let's go. careful using bombs when I'm around, actually. <laughs> How silly of me to forget that I am extremely explodable. Oh boy. Huh. How nice. They aren't even aware of my presence. Exactly. Alright. Easy, easy. Oh no! One hit obliterator! Any day now! Okay, it's recharged. Great. Wow, that silver guy dropped like jewels and stuff. Deal with that in a second. It's good that they don't have a shirt. No, 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 no! I got greedy! <laughs> oh, there I go. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, what's dead and what's not? Oh, goody! Okay, so I think doing the downstab with the one-hit obliterator uses both of its charges. Which is unfortunate. Because, man, that's a useful way to do it. I guess we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, then. Mmm, yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. Twisted. Recharge. Good. Three. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> well, let's get all the bits. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I was supposed to fight my way up this mountain. Where'd the silver guy go? 
Oh no, where'd all these bits go? Oh, thank God. All right. ah, RNG has punished me for my hubris. That sapphire seems to be long gone. Let's just save real quick. my good arrows. Here, have some ordinary scrub arrows. No, stop moving. Oh, they're so glorby. This is great. What is happening? this on you. No! Why did that work? Ugh, I should probably just bomb those. Okay, fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna bomb the case, I guess. I guess that's probably how we're supposed to do that. Yep, great. The others are still dead? Fantastic. Nope. Let's go back to the good ones, or the regular ones. Probably just be bombing these things too, actually. What am I doing? Oh, right. The avalanche trap. Shoot. Skedaddle. Oh. Is that a silver lizelle or a snowy lizelle? Who's to know? Who's to say? Ah, okay, I see. Oh, looks like it might be silver. That's a pretty beefy boy. Like No! Ugh, okay. We'll pick them off one at a time, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we don't need the Rito set. Hear me out on this. From a DLC you came, and to a DLC you shall return. Well, 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 would you look at that. The price we pay is looking very stupid. <laughs> Alright, that's one. Whoa, easy. Okay. Oh! I missed one. That's okay. I've got plenty for friends. <laughs> Cannot win, Modlin. I have the high ground. Now we save, just real quick. Okay, whew. Ooh, that's a lot of bits. Let me get it. Okay, it's happening, it's happening. Okay. And... No, that didn't help at all. They're after me! Okay, I got one of them. blew myself up with that one. That would have been so stupid. Take the bits, though. You, ice keys. Are you flammable? Apparently not, somehow. Oh, God. It's after me. No! Why? What that? Oh, am I not good enough for you? Come back. This feels like a Looney Tunes sketch. Ah! Oh, okay. Whew! 
That was a close one. I was in the blast radius for that one. All right, let's just one hit obliterate the rest of these guys, I think. Or not. Nope, normal arrows, remember. All right, and that guy we, we one hit obliterate. Hey, buddy. Yeah! Okay, one shrine to go. Whew. All right, that was fun. We gotta take off Zan's stupid hat, though. Noise. All right, let's just get some bits. Take those. And these. And these. Great. Awesome. Let's just, uh, where's my good hat? There it is. Nice. And I'm not even freezing to death. Bonus. Oh. For that. Okay. Hello, shrine. Yeah, let's do it. Phew. All right. In we go. I love this one-hit obliterator. It's so stupid. I love that it just goes smack. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, good. We love a gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Skip the intro. Path of light. Hell yeah. Is it me? Am I the light that will shine on Hyrule once again? Or are these deadly lasers the light? <laughs> Sun is a deadly laser. Not anymore, there's a pumpkin. Okay, let's just go under the deadly lasers. Oh, I could probably stasis that deadly laser. Yeah, that might be the solution to this. Are you ready? Can I? Ooh, I can. It just won't show it to me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And that is how you defang a deadly laser. Oh boy. Fire and spikes. Two great tastes that taste great together. Man, considering how many of these shrines are effectively participation trophies that are like, good job on showing up. I feel like the difficulty curve between them and um, the Champions Ballad ones is, is wild. Alright, easy, easy, easy. Okay, great, nice. Alright, when do you start throwing robots at me? I can smell them. I feel it in the water. Sorry, the water. Oh boy. Can I also stasis you? No. Great, I guess we're just sprinting! -hoo -hoo. We love to see it. Okay, what, what? What's going on here? Aha! Oh god, you're so skittery and weird! So pretty! I've been in shopping malls that look like this. Oh, 
Hello. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Warp. Noise. Compared to the other ones, this shrine was fun and easy. <laughs> and we stand. May the goddess smile upon you. Alright, there it goes. Oh, it's going to be such a relief not dying in one hit now. Maz Kusha, you've done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope. But your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. Oh, I gotta stretch. <clears throat> Pretty dumb looking weapon. Oh. Can I have my hearts back now? Uh, the divine weapon broke. Was it supposed to do that? Hello, Mazkosha? that you have proven your power, a new journey awaits. Go to the four locations that we've revealed to you, and reach for greater heights than ever before. <coughs> Ooh, field trip. Oh, one of those is close. Oh, my hearts. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Ha. Huh. All right, which of these is closest? The one that's to the left? Oh, yeah, the Gerudo one. Oh, I remember. Okay. I think I've mentioned this. Um, the first time I ever did the uh, Champion's Ballad DLC, uh, it was basically right after I had defeated the last Divine Beast, and I had saved Thunderblight for last. And then, of course, Gerudo region is the closest to the Great Plateau. So the TLDR is that doing these things in order of, you know, like... Oh, that one's closest, that's most convenient. Meant I fought Thunderblight Ganon twice in one day. Which I would not recommend doing. I don't know why it's snowing when the sky the sun's out. It's a pretty effect, I just don't know why it's doing that. Well, let's get to paraglide. <laughs> Whee! But yeah, I think I'll just uh, futz around a little bit. We're just gonna see if visiting one of the regions, like, unlocks it or adds the side quest to your uh, map or whatever. Because if so, I'll just take care of that. Um, for this one, at least. Uh, but let's see. It is... Okay, so we're coming up on five hours of streaming. It's not the longest stream I've ever done, but, you know, it's, it's reasonable. It's a reasonable amount. Um, uh, ooh, I mean, we don't have to. We just got the fully upgraded guardian set. We don't have to kill it. 
but on the other hand... You know, one of these days, we should probably go and get the Guardian Helmet, no matter how stupid it looks. And then... We can just, you know... Then we'll be able to fully upgrade it all in one go if we get more Guardian Cores. I guess, you know, you can never have enough, right? Like, it's just... I suppose if we're going to kill one, we should probably be wearing our Guardian Armor. Just, you know, just... There are so many things that we can be doing in this beautiful, wonderful world, and I think one of them should be killing as many Guardians as possible for fun. Alright, let's just get to the top of this big ol' rock. Then let's go drop down on it and cut off all its legs. And then let's see what happens. I probably should have kept wearing the climbing gear until we were finished climbing. It's fine. That's what extra stamina is for. Oh, yeah, I have more spores. I should turn those in. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. Um... And yes, the uh, the current uh, goal that we're aiming for is that if we hit 4k before I call the stream a day, I will take a crack at the Master Trials. But I won't promise anything about succeeding, because they're annoying, and I hate redoing stuff that I've already done. Like, ah! Oh, you're approaching me? Ah, your aim is a little south, my friend. But don't worry, my blade always strikes true! Too damaged, but I don't even care. Right. Oh, that's nice, he got his legs under him again. Alright, let's see. Ah, I missed it. Dude had to handle it. Thanks, Daruk! Hey, it's our lucky day. We already got a core. All right, that was fun. Anyway, where was I going? Oh, that's right. The tall mountain thing. Am I still heading in the right direction, or am I heading in exactly the wrong direction? Exactly the wrong direction, it looks like. Yep, okay, cool. That's okay. All right. No, no, that guardian wasn't in the desert. That guardian was near the desert. There's a small but crucial difference. Got any bits? Yeah. Nice. Alright, thanks, bud. Laters. Also, just do a little bit more talus tipping. I think there's been a blood moon since the last time I did it. And now that we have that lady that pays extra for gems since we beat Rudania, we could always take a look. Okay. Yes, there we go. One more obnoxiously tall rock to climb, and then we're home free. Got bits? Yes, he's got bits! Love the bits. Oh. I hear an accordion. You know what that means. Where is you at? Bird guard! Bird guard? There he is! Oh god, it's doing something. I applaud your courage in coming here. Hello, K. 
communications that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Guys, I have to keep the TV volume turned down, otherwise you guys will hear it through my mic offset, which is just confusing, so. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Google Street View. <clears throat> oh? What was that? Flash of light. Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Mm? Hmm? How strange to see someone else at this ample altitude. I wonder what brought him here. Oh, it's you again! <laughs> oh. This monument. I must admit it has taken me by surprise. My teacher's unfinished song mentions such monuments, and now one has appeared before my eyes. The song's most complete, however. My teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. Man, that guy was working on a lot of songs at the same time. Mm. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire away. I wouldn't rhyme desert and solid, but that's just me. You guys are ready for a Yiga Clan part two when we do that. Uh. <laughs> I can consult with their ghosts and see if they care about this, but uh, somehow I feel like that seems unlikely. <laughs> Did Cass have to? have to do the Gerudo outfit thing <laughs> when he said I'm afraid I had to leave my comfort zone <laughs> oh I feel that bud that's okay it's all good to explore I break these rocks so they don't have anything good to do it with okay <clears throat> let's see Gotcha. So visiting each of these activates the EX champion side quest. So yeah, let's just do a quick tour around. Um, uh, oh, that one's near the tower. That should be easy. And there's a talus down there. All right, Cass and Gerudo outfit. I want that fan art on my desk by Monday. <laughs> okay. And are we facing completely the wrong direction? We are. No wonder this seemed weird. Okay. <clears throat> My goodness, Cass, you got here awfully fast. Courage is kind of my thing. It's okay. Locations that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Yep. Okay. Alright. Good time to finish my sandwich then. Oh, that's right. There's a really, really annoying one.
old. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yep, let's do it. Why not? You hear that, Ravali? He's talking about you. <clears throat> That one means so much room for interpretation. They all have like a like a race puzzle at some point. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, that's two out of four. Where's next? Uh, oh, that's right. I set the damn it, Revali. Okay, Elden. Where's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's near Goron City. All right, let's just real quick be less flammable. Okay. Uh, the combination of dealing with Vomito and uh, that toolkit about Octoroks reminded me of that video of 10 ways Link can make it up to that divine beast on his own. Highly recommend watching it if you haven't already. Alright, so it's just kind of down a little bit. Sort of. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, Goron City, that's great. We gotta go over there, though. shrines. I feel like they're easier to do if you're mostly fireproof. Oh, shiny rocks. Ah, why not just use this? <laughs> no, hold on. Uh, we can use something that's less really nice. No, we can't. I have very little things that are less nice. Let's just do this. Ooh, luminous stones. We can trade those in for diamonds if we still needed diamonds. Great. Awesome. There's something a little bit sad about getting near to just, like, the part of the game where... Oh, God! Oh, we're fine. Uh, where you're basically done. Because it's like, oh man, I would love to collect that, except I don't have to. I'm good, actually. I'm a lizard. Maz Kosha, I'm here again. Hello. I'm just zipping around. Yada yada, courage. Yup. Uh, trials enhance the power. Mm hmm. So cool. 
guard down. Nope. Why would I? You tried to drop a spike ball on me the last time we talked, so. More? Hmm. That's right in the volcano, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. 10,000 years. Yeesh. Aw. What's this? It's me again. I changed my pants, that's all. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny that canonically oh. Fireproof Elixir is applied to the skin, but Link chugs it. Oh. Yep, all right, let's go. Survive lava. <laughs> uh, Did it move you? To tears, maybe. Champion's vigilance from a hundred mm. years ago. Yeah, he was pretty cool. I'm so excited for Cass to be in Tears of the Kingdom. Guru. Yep, yep. Okay. Mm. That's cool. Great. All right. One to go. Locations remaining. That's not true. Locations remaining is one. Why must this be confusing? Oh boy, Zora's domain. Let's check in with Mipa. It was all those frogs Zelda made of me. Yeah, that's definitely why Link is fireproof. <laughs> Head cannon accepted. Uh huh. Ah. Hey, Mifa. How you doing? She's fine. Okay. To the right. Aha! Target acquired. Alrighty, let's go. Ooh, there's a shrine down there we forgot to get to. Ah, maybe later. We're good. And we're busy. Oh, damn it, it's that thing. No, thank you. I keep forgetting, no matter how far I get in the game, things still respawn. But at least it's not raining anymore. Woo! God, everything's so friggin' far away. Ugh. Tears of the Kingdom doesn't do time travel. I feel like this might be a weird hill for me to die on. I just... I find it a little bit disinvesting when a story goes kind of time loopy or time travel -y. Uh Like, I've seen a few people theorize that, like, hey, you know, Tears of the Kingdom's symbol is, like, two snakes eating each other's tails. It's like a variant on the Aruburos kind of symbol. What the hell? 
Did I just bounce off an invisible wall? No, we're good. Um, so it's probably like a time loop. It's like a cycle. Like, this is going to reset everything. And it's like, well, that's one way to make the entire Zelda universe feel confined uh, within the limits of Skyward Sword to Breath of the Wild and then everything just repeats. Um, which, for a game world that's supposed to replicate the feeling of exploring and specifically an open world take on that setting that's supposed to really enhance the feeling of exploring i feel like putting hard parameters on like yeah sorry we're never gonna get farther out than this just doesn't feel good to me i don't know and I've seen, like, there was this idea uh, that I, it doesn't look like that's what they're doing in Tears of the Kingdom, but there was an idea, ooh, I'm a little wall, uh, that, <clears throat> that the Link design with, like, the loose hair and the fucked up arm is, like, like, maybe that's past Link or something. Like, maybe those segments are at a different time rather than just being a different armor set. And I don't think that's true, especially now that we've seen, like, the main gameplay appears to be like, look, the Flying Islands have risen above Hyrule, it's modern Hyrule, but shit's weird. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like it's doing that, which is good, because that makes it feel less investing. If we're essentially playing as two different links and their character arcs don't transfer over, then the fact that we are the same person playing both of them doesn't really work anymore. It becomes an instance of ludonarrative dissonance. Um... So I'm hoping they don't do that, and I don't think they're going to. But I can see why people are theorizing about it. Hello again, it's me. I guess the thing is, it feels to me that Breath of the Wild opens up so many new possibilities for future timeline stuff. Like, if they want to do more games in the line of, like, the original Zelda, you know, uh, t t you know, top-down 2D, very linear set of dungeons and then the boss kind of stuff, they could do that, you know? But they could also do that drawing on some of the stuff they've done in Breath of the Wild. They could do that drawing on mm -hmm. Zonai. Or... But most of the Zelda games don't tend to draw stuff from previous... Mm -hmm games exactly like most things tend to be just sort of compartmentalized in their own game like the minish as far as i know haven't shown up since minish cap um the the twilight have never shown up after twilight princess um i don't know it just feels like turning this into the distant past of the you know previous zelda games it makes it feel less good to me it's hard to really pin down why I guess it's that I like that this is the distant future of the of every previous Zelda game. And I think it would be kind of boring if it's like, oh, it's a time loop actually. Nothing ever turns into anything else. It's all just going in circles. The thing is, if the game is about breaking the cycle that is the Legend of Zelda series, essentially, like, oh, Hyrule is trapped in eternal conflict, we have to save it, that's a good way to be like, well, no more Zelda games. <laughs> Sorry, we fixed it. There's no more Ganon. I don't know. I just, I feel like this is something that, that shouldn't be made more complicated. Exactly. Like, oh man, it's being weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the fact that every Zelda game can kind of be played in isolation is a feature and not a bug. Like, it's fun if you know what's going on and there's lore to be found, but it's also fun if you're just kind of having a good time with it. Uh, and... The fact that the games are almost always, like, so distant from each other really helps make it feel like the world is really, really big. It's like, oh, you can have, you know, the Minish, 
those things are just around. And then also, there's the Twilight Realm, parallel to our own. That's still a thing. Uh, and Low Rule is still a thing, and all these other things are still things. Um, no, damn it. I was hoping you could just zoom out. Uh, where is that? Oh, that's by the Tingle Islands. Oh, I actually know where that is. Well, in fact, it's not far. Well, may as well. We're close. I just feel like when... St oh, fuck. I just feel like when stories get meta, it risks damaging immersion. Um, and for me, you know, a large part of what I like about Breath of the Wild is that, like, you kind of just get into Link's head a lot, because there's not a lot else in there. I mean, you know, <laughs> all the love in my heart, but again, not much of a personality going on. Um, and... It just sort of starts feeling like you're solving these problems and dealing with these things and and stuff like that. And because Link starts the game as an amnesiac blank slate and you rediscover his past and his memories at the same time as him, you sort of, like, you come into the story and all you know about Zelda is, oh, Zelda's in trouble, we have to save her. That's pretty much what I expected. It's a Zelda game. And then as you see the memories, you're like, oh, she's, like, I actually really like her. I feel bad for her and I fucking want to punch her dad, and this is just really heartbreaking, and and then you get the memories that are fun, and it's like, oh, she was really sweet, and I want to help her, and, like, save her. To the point where when you get the Master Sword, if you've been getting the memories back, and the Deku Tree's like, she has a smile like the sun, I would give a lot to feel its warmth on me once again. You're like, yeah, man, me too. I'm gonna save her, bro. Uh, it, it's all part of how the game just sort of seamlessly integrates you into the character because there's not a lot else that's going on with him. And I, I think that's really smart storytelling. And now that they're doing Tears of the Kingdom, they don't need to do a lot of that planting because we're already invested in this version of Link and Zelda. Um, which is, again, clever. It's smart design. So now I think they can do a lot more interesting stuff with the story, and I'm hoping that they're not going to close off the possibility of future games. Anyway, Blood Moon, whatever. Blood Moon rises once again. <clears throat> Great. Okay, cool. Anyway. Ugh, but yeah, I don't know. I think the time loop theory could be cool, but, like, this is kind of how I felt about, um, Skyward Sword, which, you know, for all its faults in the gameplay and the mechanics, like, there's good stuff in there. Um, I watched, uh, the playthrough that Point Crow did semi-recently, and it kind of endeared me to the game, just because he's just, like, so enamored with a lot of the plot, and it's like, you know what, that was cool, actually, or, like, that was a sweet moment. Um, like... A lot of it's not very effective, and sadly, the limitations of the Wii's technology meant the whole you can physically control the sword gimmick didn't really pay the dividends they wanted it to. Oh, whoops. Sorry, fellas, don't mind me. Mind my own business. Um, but, like, parts of that game that sort of bugged me were the parts when they started doing time travel stuff, like Gate of Time stuff. Because it- ooh, that's a lot of silver with all those. No thank you. Um, because it's like, oh, we've defeated Demise in the present. And then... Nope, nope, come back. Damn it. <laughs> ha! Anyway. So they defeated the well, it's not Demise, they defeated the Imprisoned in the present like four times, and the Imprisoned looks so dumb that it's hard to take seriously, uh, which is its own problem. And then it's like, oh yeah, uh, uh, actually we're gonna cheat, Girahim is gonna kidnap Zelda, and like, I don't know, take her back 10,000 years again, so that, because like that's when Demise is still alive. So it's like, oh, so now we're just dealing with the fact that you're just gonna go back in time and make it so that you won already. 
And then Link goes back in time and makes it so he's lost already. And then Demise is like, an incarnation of my hatred will follow you. And that's what makes the entire Zelda storyline happen. And it's like, why didn't that happen in the present of Skyward Sword? Why didn't we get Link fighting Demise? Like, in... Why did we need the the time travel? We were already in the distant past. This is like what Assassin's Creed did in the ancient Egypt thing, where they were like, this knight, this wrist blade is a weapon from ancient times. In the immortal words of Yahtzee Kroshaw, bitch, we're in ancient times. Oh, God. <clears throat> yep, Prince Sidon. The land where Princess Mipha completed her sacred trial. The signs that appeared a hundred years ago have returned. Princess Mipha's notes had this phrase, while the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. I'm not sure where they came from, but she often repeated those mysterious words about the trial. Great. I guess now I have to wait until morning. Let's do a little squat. Pop a squat. Anyway. A path of light! I see it! Adventure! Anyway, yeah. I just kind of feel like, you know... <sighs> the time travel just sort of makes the timeline unnecessarily complicated to keep track of. Because it's like... Oh yeah, we're in the far distant past and we, we drop... The, the temple on the, the imprisoned, sealing him forever, so we win forever. And then it's like, just kidding, Demise is in the past now, uh, and you have to beat him there too, and he's, yeah, and that's why Ganon happens. Because Link stabbed a guy 10,000 years ago. And then it's like, why, why couldn't they have just been fighting Demise in the regular timeline. Like, the, the Gate of Time has one cool use, which is when you use the fruit of the Tree of Life to save Lanayru the dragon so he's not dead in the present. That's clever. Brings some questions about the mechanics of time travel in the Zelda universe, but it's, you know, it's a clever thing. Oh no, I just, I forgot that this was gonna be a shrine. What am I doing? Um, I just feel like, I don't even know how to explain why this bothers me. I think it's because there's no through line in all of the character arcs together, exactly. Like, like part of the reason it would bother me if Tears of the Kingdom had like a split timeline where you're playing as present Link and past Link, part of the reason that would bug me is because that means we're sort of keeping in our heads two different partitions of... Which character am I keeping track of right now? Which one am I? Uh, but it's like two different versions of Link, and Link is already a blank slate. So it's just like two different versions of the same guy, but they have to be different guys. And what you do in one doesn't affect the other, and it's just... So that would not be fun, which is why I'm hoping they're not doing that. And I, I don't think they are. At this point, I think the evidence is very low. Um, but part of the reason why Skyward Sword and its portrayal of, like, Ganon isn't... Well demise is not my favorite is because the imprisoned has no personality girahim has a personality the imprisoned is a big avocado on legs like it's got nothing going on and then it's like oh you know what would be cool if we explored the complex relationship between demise this you know godlike being that is used to subjugating humans without difficulty having to suddenly deal with the link you know fucking fight me hero of hyrule and is like wow i'm impressed i've literally never had a human stand up to me this is kind of cool why couldn't we just have that bad guy for the entire game why do we have to deal with girahim being you know his delightfully relentlessly queer coded self you know when we could have been building up the actual vendetta between Demise and Link so that, like, the first time they meet is not when they're fighting for the first and last time. I don't know, man. I just think there's interesting stuff they could have been doing. Do you have any fire weapons? No, that would be too easy. Like, the Imprisoned doesn't have an arc, which means its arc with Link is not an arc. 
And then Demise could have an arc, but we only see him once, 10,000 years in the past. Like, why couldn't they just have... Why couldn't he have just gotten unsealed in the present? And then Link fights and beats him. And then he's like, this is not the end, an incarnation of my hatred will follow you, yada yada yada. It's the exact same order of operations, except it doesn't happen 10,000 years in the past for no reason. And it gives us a villain who can actually influence the events of the game during the actual events of the game. <laughs> I don't know. Is this weird for me to want that? <laughs> There might be a more efficient way to do this. I'm just finding it very relaxing. Right, where am I even going? Am I shrinking this or not? Maybe not. There's more torches there. Well, maybe I am shrinking it just a little bit. Um, anyway. So yeah, I, I feel like when you add a time plot, it creates this unnecessarily complicated disconnect between the characters. So like, I am very excited for whatever weird flashbacks of the past we get in Tears of the Kingdom. I think that one shot... Come on, Link. It's not that bad. Fine. Whatever. More fire. I think that one shot with the, with the spooky arm and the being that is clearly a version of Zelda slash Hylia, I think that's really interesting. I'm glad it's a cutscene and doesn't look like something we're going to be running around in setting fire to things. I think that if something had to play out a certain way in the past, we probably shouldn't be participating in it. Um, there we go. Oh, now we can pick it up. How delightful. And it's like, the Imprisoned is a big empty space where an interesting boss fight could have gone. And, uh, they didn't do that. And I think that's a waste. And they had a really good boss just sitting in the past that I think they could have done something with. And instead they were like, he's from 10,000 years ago. He's been sealed forever. We beat the Imprisoned. He's gone. For realsies. And it's like, what? Wh why? Why would you do this? Come on, guys. Alright. How high up can we go? Uh, that looks like not high enough. Oh, no. No! That's okay, I got it. work? Can I climb it? No. It has bunced me. What's happening? Um, am I doing this wrong? Oh, no, I was doing it right the whole time. How about that? Let me in. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, of the various issues I had with Skyward Sword, um, the fact that the Imprisoned sucks and they were hiding the real bad guy until the very end and then we only get him once and he's like, in the space of one sword fight, I've decided that you are so interesting that I'm going to keep reincarnating to fuck with you. It's like, why couldn't we build that up over the course of a game? Why couldn't that have been what the plot of this game was? Like, that's what the game was sold as. It's like, Skyward Sword, the very first Link in Zelda. Wow, so cool. And then, uh, that's basically not what we got. Like, it was technically, it's like, oh, this is Link, your standard anime protagonist, and this is Zelda, his, his fun childhood bestie slash local princess equivalent. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm glad that Tears of the Kingdom hasn't 
made any signs of including time travel. And I understand why some people are excited about the possibility, but I'm really not. So I think what I would be happy about is if we get like, oh, damn it. Do I have to go all the way back? Oh, I forgot it won't let me warp there. It's fine, whatever, we'll just climb. Um, oh wait, maybe the, no, no, it's fine. Um, Anyway, I think it'll be exciting to learn about what happened 10,000 years ago. I think that's, like, the big empty hole in the plot of Breath of the Wild that I think Tears of the Kingdom can fill. Because um, it's, like, a lot of the... Bre Breath of the Wild leaves a lot of questions unanswered that the characters don't know enough to ask. And that is one of my favorite forms of storytelling, because this game is riddled with dramatic irony. Like, we, the players, know what Ganon is. Like, yeah, yeah, king of evil, reincarnated, whatever. But mostly it's like, Ganon is a guy. Sometimes he gets cool magical powers. Sometimes he's got cool weapons. But he's a guy. He's a dude. There's like a person at the heart of this. And nobody else knows that. Nobody in the game. Because for 10,000 years, he's been a spooky mummy under Hyrule Castle farting out calamity beasts every couple millennia or whatever. Um... And they go this whole game never finding out what we, the players, know about Ganon and how he works. It's like, oh, you know, he's incarnated this true enraged form uh, that is the Calamity or whatever. It's like, great, okay, he's, he's, made a big, he's made a big scary pig and then we blew it up. That's awesome. But it's like, where's Ganon's body? We never fight it. He's constantly making himself new ones. Like, the cocoon in Hyrule Castle is growing him a new one out of malice and guardian bits. And then the pig is just a big old pile of malice. Like, it, he, where's Ganon? We don't know. And then when the trailer for Tears of the Kingdom dropped, the very first thing they did is, this is the game where you're going to find out where Ganon is. Like, there, see, it bunts me again. Maybe the wind is just really strong there? I don't know. Um, but it's like, look. Here he is. He's a spooky mummy. That's where Ganon's body is. And that raised more questions, but it answered some questions. What the hell is the wind doing? Why is it... Okay, weird. I wonder if that's like a failsafe left over from when Varuda was supposed to be down there. Anyway... Wait, I might have it confused. Anywho, uh, the point is... <laughs> I think that there's a lot that Tears of the Kingdom can explore with what exactly went down 10,000 years ago, what that version of Ganon was doing, and how he became a spooky mummy that could fart out Calamity Beasts. Because we don't know any of that. Like, none of that has been explained. And in Breath of the Wild, nobody knows enough to ask that question. But, crucially, the characterization of Zelda we get is curious enough to want to ask that question. Like, it's clear that she's been researching ways to thwart the Calamity for basically her whole life. Which means it makes sense that if she finds out, like, there's these ancient legends that the Calamity was once a man. We should explore this possibility. Like, this is, just as a general rule in writing, this is why you want to have the smart guy on your team. Because the smart guy is often also the inquisitive guy. This is the character who asks the question the writer needs them to ask. Because Link, let's be real, you point Link at a bad guy, he will deal with it. But that's kind of all he does. He's not going to go researching the true source of the Calamity. He'll beat it up if he finds it, but that's basically it. Okay. Oh, wait, I remember this one, I think. Where's the other one? Oh, right. Okay, that's the, that's the Waterfalls one. I think we could actually do that one pretty easily, if I recall correctly, but then we'd have to do a shrine afterwards. I'll just mark it anyway. Um... Huh, <sighs> boy, I, I could take phone pics of maps, but I have limited storage and I want to take more pictures of dogs. Anywho, uh, but yes, uh, having a smart guy on your team is extremely useful because then the smart guy will ask the questions. So in this case, it's like Zelda wants to prevent the calamity from happening again. This makes perfect sense. Zelda as motivator for what happens in the next game also makes perfect sense. Uh, <laughs> 
at the risk of overusing a term that a lot of people don't like, Zelda has an awful lot of agency, if that's the angle they take with her, because then it turns into, hey, that was really, really bad. I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> and Link is along for the ride, and then cleaning up the mess after it all goes catastrophically wrong. Um, well, let's just go kill some Taluses, why not? Or let's go check out that shrine I forgot about, why not? Um, anyway, so I'm excited to learn what happened 10,000 years ago. What is the wind doing here? But I don't think we should play that part exactly. Seriously, what the hell? You guys saw that, right? That wind was weird. And yeah, there is a point, uh, what the hell is happening? Uh, where Urbosa says there's legends that the Calamity once took the form of a Gerudo, which is a really interesting way to frame that, because that's the only time, to my knowledge, that the game acknowledges that this is a thing that people know about. Uh, because it's still framed in the form of, like, th this is a myth, you know, this is a lost bit of knowledge. Nobody knows for sure. But, like, yeah, there's a story. Oh, god damn it. Hold on, I think we can cheese this. In fact, I'm quite certain we can. With the help of my best boy, the bird. Yeah, there we go. Good evening, fellas. Great. Anyway. Um, but yeah, when Urbosa said that, it's like, wow. The fact that that simple bit of knowledge is in the realm of legend now is really, really interesting. It highlights, like, it's been 10,000 years, but not only has it been 10,000 years, Ganon hasn't been reborn in those 10,000 years. Something's up. Something's got him stuck. And, um, I think I've mentioned this in a previous stream. I have a theory that they might go with, but I, I don't know for sure. Um, basically, this version of Link does not seem to actually have the Triforce of Courage. Like, usually in the games when he has the Triforce, they, like, show it. Oh, god damn it this one. Uh, like, he has it on the back of his hand or whatever. This Link doesn't seem to have it. Um, so the question is, where is it? <laughs> and my crack theory is that possibly it's what's keeping Ganon sealed. Uh, that basically some previous Link, probably, uh, or some other wielder of the Triforce of Courage, uh, used um, the Triforce to essentially balance uh, Ganon's whole hot situation. And that's what's keeping him sealed. And possibly the weird hand he acquires in the next game has something to do with, you know, dealing with that whole situation. <laughs> that whole mess. Uh, but again, crack theory. We'll see how it plays out. It might not. Um, let's see. Okay, that's a good sign. Now... Okay. Maybe. Good. We're, we're getting somewhere. Now we just gotta light the one on top. Can we cheat this one? Let's see. Please be stupid. Please be stupid. Please be stupid. Yes, it's stupid. Aha! And then we just gotta light this last one. Awesome. Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Oh, record time. But yeah, they also might never bring it up like they did in Twilight Princess. I think, like, he has the Triforce of Courage in Twilight Princess. We see it on his hand. It's clearly implied that, like, that's why he gets turned into a wolf instead of just a shade, which is, like, what happens to everybody else. Uh, but Zelda doesn't mention it. Midna doesn't mention it. Link doesn't know what the fuck it is. Uh, but the fact that this Link doesn't have it is, like, an interesting point. Uh, I think also, like, the devs said that this Link doesn't have it, which makes me think that they've thought this through. And, like, we know that Zelda has it. We know that Zelda has the Triforce of Wisdom. We don't know where Ganon's physical body is, but the Triforce of Power lets him do all kinds of crazy magic shit. So maybe that's how he keeps farting out Calamity Beasts. But the fact is, we don't know. And it's interesting that we don't know, and that is the kind of thing that, like, that's the big empty hole in the plot of this game 
that I feel like Tears of the Kingdom can explore without feeling redundant to this game. Um, and it seems likely that that's what they're going to do, considering the flashbacks they've shown with the clearly archaic Zelda and how much of this stuff is about ancient Zonai shit. Oh, man, I could, like, hear the theorizers, wor like, worldwide losing it when, uh, when the... Uh, when the bit in the playthrough showed that it, one of those little constructs dropped something called like a Zonai shard, <laughs> I was like, oh, they're gonna like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I should probably start winding down since we are creeping up on six hours, and I also need to eat food at some point. <clears throat> Much as I love that sandwich. Uh, let's do. You know what? Let's go to our house. Let's see if we can die the dark armor set. And then, uh, let's get a sledgehammer and go talus tipping. I think the Triforce on Zelda's hand is explicitly supposed to be the Triforce of Wisdom because we see that it's like a specific one of the triangles is shining. Um, I think that's correct. It's not the full Triforce. It's like one of them shines specifically. So it's like, oh, she's got only one of them. That makes sense. Um, although it is interesting that it manifested in a moment of courage rather than wisdom. Spoiler alert. Uh, we'll see that later. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's great. Um, actually, we are quite close. I suppose we could wrap up the stream by getting the final memory. That actually might not be the worst. You know what? Yeah, we've just been discussing it. We may as well. Let's drop the torch. Oh, let's just equip the Master Swords just so we've had it. Alright. <laughs> well, since we can't remember what was exactly going on, let's go find out together. Now, I don't remember exactly where this is, but I do remember vaguely how to get there. Ish. Would be extremely funny if this Zelda doesn't get the Triforce of Wisdom, but no, no. Zelda always gets Wisdom. It's only fair. It's only right, he would say. But yeah, my guess... My guess, and again, this is my crack theory, is that... Since the next game is going to be exploring what the hell happened with Ganon. Sorry, bud. Oh, for God's sake. People never learn. Oh. Cricket! Yay, I got it! Oh, he's gone. Well, rip that guy. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, I think if they're going to be exploring, you know what happened with Ganon, which it's very clear that they are going to, because we've, we've got stuff in the past, we've got Ganon as an active presence with a clearly, like, human mind going on there, uh, then presumably the Triforce is gonna come up, since that is usually what he's, like, into. It's kind of his thing. Um, did I skip a Talus really close? Ah, whatever, we'll deal with it some other time. No, we won't. What am I talking about? Let's go kill it. How close are we? Oh, soup's close. Let's do this. Now, why would it be auto saving? Hello, friend. Is this the right rock? Am I on the wrong rock? Oh god, I'm on the wrong rock. How embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Perfect. Great. Oh, no. Hold on. I want the hammer. Oh no, we're both it. it it's okay, but thanks. Anyway, back to the final memory. <sighs> so 
So yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do. Tears of the Kingdom is in one of those... What the? Why is it so foggy? Uh, it's in one of those situations where, like, there's things I could think of that I would want to see, but the stuff that I've already seen from them is stuff I wouldn't have thought of and I like way more, which is, like, the ideal scenario, I think, for being a fan of something is, like, you can come up with your own ideas, but what they produce is just way more fun. Because it's, you know, coming from a different mind. So, I'm excited. I mean, obviously. Of course I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Look at me. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm out of Daruk's protection. I keep... I mean, I just guard all the time, so like... You know... Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh, and bits. Kill time will want the bits. Nope. There we go. Nice. Great. Okay, anyway. Let's see. I know you can turn the protection off, but like, that's a lot of work and I'm gonna forget about it. I can just feel it. Uh, am I extremely below the, oh yeah, okay, I see. I think the path is up there. That's okay. Let me just scale this cliff a little bit. And we just got Rivali's Gale back, so we could do it in style. Yeah, why not? <laughs> We just gotta get to Fort Hateno, basically. The thing about it, you know, it's funny, like, yeah, Link and Zelda have, like, elf ears, and are probably elves. But, like, in Skyward Sword, they really insist on calling them humans 24-7. Demise is like, I've never met a human who fought quite as bravely as you, and it's like, you still haven't. Oh god, there was a diamond in there. That was so cool. I have diamonds now. I don't need them, but it's cool to have them. <laughs> There's a lot of people being like, this is the first time I've hopped on live, and we're getting like a different audience than we've had before, which is pretty cool. Um, it's odd, like, I start, this is the day I usually stream when I'm, you know, streaming. Uh... But I guess starting a couple hours later <laughs> attracts a different crowd. So hello, everybody. Okay. The memory's in here somewhere. I think I took a picture of it for future reference. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not the most helpful. Well, maybe we'll know when we see it. God damn it. Come on, guys. Really? Take the night off, would ya? Let me just... Did we get him? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looks like he's been disarmed. <laughs> are you a real traveler or the Yiga? Ah. Probably a real traveler, statistically speaking. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Actually, it would be really great if one of those travelers that goes, Eek! Turns out to actually be the Yiga clan. <laughs> like, don't worry, I'll save you! Classic wounded gazelle gambit. God, get out of here! I'm busy! Alright, let's see. It's sort of split in the mountain and the... Fuck, what? Eh. It's out here somewhere. Ooh! Bunch of wild horses. Oh, okay. I think I got it. It looks like a split in the mountain, but it's just that mountain at a funny angle. We should probably also kill these guys, right? Oh, that might be a little bit a little bit overkill. <laughs> Pfft. <laughs> 
It feels unfair that I can get a headshot from that angle. I guess if, if we weren't supposed to headshot Bacoblins, Hylia wouldn't have made their heads so giant in the first place. Ooh, is that a silver one? That looks like a silver one. If only I still had the one-hit obliterator. Whoops. Well, that's okay. Hey, Urbosa, you still around? Great. Hey! Oh, I see. She needs the extra charged one. Damn it, Urbosa. It's okay. Whoop! Alright. I gotta stop doing that. Let's just kill him. And you too. That's okay. We've got plenty more where that came from, like this knockoff. Ooh. For some reason, with the silver bob, uh, bacoblin, the fact that the exposed booty is really prominent, it just shows so much more. Ooh, fits. Hell yeah. Alright, is anybody left? Oh, that guy. Great. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Serpentine, serpentine. Hey, hold real still. Nice. Alright, do I get a chest? They do that sometimes. Looks like no. Okay. <sighs> what was I talking about? A bunch of stuff, probably. Okay. Probably would have been easier to spot that memory at night. Dang it. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay, funky angle between those. Got it. I think we need to go further left. Maybe. No, probably not. There's nothing much further left. All right, further right, I guess. Oh, wait, yeah, that's totally a shrine. And that's a frog! Yeah! Oh god. Hold on. Thanks, Urbosa. Should have done the stand so the stasis check. No, my screws! Nice. Ooh, a chest. Hell yeah. Mm, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Where is this friggin'... Oh, hold on. This looks promising. Maybe. Ah, okay, yeah, it's more this way. For those of you... Basically, I'm gauging by the gap between these two bluffs, essentially, because if you look at the picture, uh, it's pretty narrow, which indicates that, like, you gotta be further this away to see it. Just run past it? No. Just a trick of the sun. Oh, okay. I think we're in the right-ish right -ish spot. Right general area, maybe. Hey, use that nice night gray dot. Alright, anyway, what was I saying? Alright, this feels like roughly the right kind of place. I just. Ugh. 
Man, come on. Poignant, I think. Okay, right spot, mountain, clouds. I feel like we're nearly there. I just don't know where it is. Well, at least I'm getting a lot of great frogs out of the offer. I think we're far away from it. Yeah, okay, so. In the picture, the, for the forward bluff, this one, appears bigger because we're closer to it. So it's around here somewhere! Ugh. Hmm. Well, let's just take a look from above. <laughs> Girl, anything over here? No, great. Anything cool? No, nope. that's on this big thing. Nope. How silly. Ah, oh, it's driving me up the fucking wall. Come on! Oh, it's auto-saving. Maybe that's good? Probably not. Hmm. Let's see. When I used Rivali's Gale, it was a couple steps to the right. God damn it. Uh, it was right next to the Guardian that was perched on the big rock. Guardian and this big rock? If you mean another guardian and a different big rock, I will be displeased. Wrong guardian and wrong big rock. Well, whose fault is that? Aha! I found you. All right, everybody pay attention to Zelda. does if I haven't taken a picture of the picture.
Oh! It's the whole thing. Interesting. That look is like, girl, come on. Okay, it's nap time. <gasps> it's my girl! My girl! Princess Zelda, I calculate a 90% chance that this bitch is dead. So he can can still be safe. But mostly dead is Princess! slightly alive. Huh? Princess, are you alright? You guys Naruto running? Take That's me cringe. to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. <laughs> Link's like, how am I remembering this? <laughs> it's probably the sword again. No way. Link, did you just remember me crying over your lifeless body? You're Pretty cringe, am I right? <laughs> just pretend you didn't see that. From 100 years ago. I am here. Inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. After at least 12 more side quests. Yeah, look at that determination. Anyway, back to fucking around. But yeah, yeah, I remember the Triforce being a little more lopsided than that, but I guess it was the full symbol. I don't think that means she has the whole Triforce. I think it just means that, like, oh, yep, that's the power of the goddess, all right. That makes sense. Frog! Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay, it's been six hours. I gotta stop streaming. Huh, and eat food and stuff. Um, uh, anyway, uh, whew, let's climb on top of one of these bad boys just real quick. Just see how I get the full pose. So you can really appreciate. All right. Ooh, there's a horse. Okay, focus. Jesus Christ. Horse. Okay. Thank you all <laughs> so much for watching. Um, I had a good time. Uh, I'm gonna give my voice a break and drink a bunch more tea, but that was kind of gonna happen anyway. Um, the VOD for this will be up pretty much immediately. It might take a little while for chat to process. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this now. Usually all the people who are like, where's the live chat are commenting within the first five minutes of the video. So won't really help them. But for those of you who are curious, it takes a couple hours for the VOD to fully process. And before that, the live chat is invisible, but it will be visible. Um, the donation link is still going to be live. I think it's probably one of those two-week ones. Uh, we're, as mentioned, we were fundraising for the Internet Archive, which do Wayback Machine and Archive.org and a bunch of other stuff, and they're just really good. Um, just a very, very useful and valuable uh, preservation of a bunch of other media that would otherwise be very difficult to access or just be lost. Um, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a little while before I stream again, probably at least two weeks. Uh, I've got stuff happening. It's fine. We'll be fine. I'll dish about it later. <laughs> it, it's it's objectively good stuff. Uh, it just is eating a lot of my time and attention. This is also why I didn't stream last week, because other stuff was happening. Oh, yeah, just stretch it out, Link. I feel that, too. I'm going to need to do some yoga after this. Um, anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching, for tuning in. I have a great time doing these things. I'm continually surprised that you guys enjoy watching it. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm excited to play through the Champion's Ballad. Maybe do a little bit of Master Trials, maybe just a little bit. Um, if the Master Trials let me use the motorcycle, I think I'll like it a lot more. Uh, spoiler alert for the, for the Champion's Ballad. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, go eat food. So I will <laughs> see you guys the next time I do one of these things. Bye!